Jeez. Patrice O'Neill and Colin and Quinn. Colin What's up, guys? Hi, Look at that. Imagine? You can knock me over the feather. Hey, Mr. Quinn. How are you, sir? Patricky, how you doing? Patricky. Good morning. Good morning to you. Got to turn some mics on okay, over here. I like Patrice's power move where he sits in one chair. <clears throat> just because, like, he's been on. He's more of a regular. Uh, I'm, I'm still bigger than you. As they said outside, Colin's doing Caroline's. Patrice is doing Hasbro you know Heights. You know, you're not going to get us to defend that statement, Colin. We've been begging for you to come in here. We're like, where's Colin? We, <laughs> we call for you. We're hoping for you to run down here in your pajamas, and you haven't been around. There's a seat for you over here, Colin. We, uh, miss, we miss the days where you come running in with your pajamas on. That was when you were on 57. And holy shit, have you lost a lot of weight. I can't God. A lot. Damn, what's that about? <laughs> yeah. I know. First thing I got to do, I want to apologize to Patrice. I was having the worst week ever when you uh, called oh, me, well, again. and I didn't you. get back to you, and Sorry. I want to apologize to, that, uh, to you because, uh, yeah, it was uh, a crisis. I just want to hear, I, 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 it's okay, yeah, I don't take a pro. I just want to hear what Sammy Sosa has to say here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bleach skin face. I want to hear, hear what clear skin has to say over here. What are you talking about? Is it a healthy Lizard weight loss? Man. What's that? Healthy weight loss? Yes. It can't okay. be. No. It's it fucking lymph node cancer. <laughs> How much have you lost, Colin? Eight, 60 eight, altogether. 60 fucking pounds. Wow. Jesus. Nice glass of chemo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you why it's not working out. Because he still has the I don't work out stomach. That's that's why he didn't work out. It's that, just it's just a fat you, gut. He's, are you working out or are you just eating right? Um, I am working out and eating right, but... And he's getting Unfortunately, old. Unfortunately, Fatso is correct. <laughs> <laughs> he's, getting nice. tell, he's getting he's getting old people ears when it just. This <laughs> 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 motherfucker. <laughs> My ears were always like this. What are you talking about, old people? He's getting big old people ears. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little bigger, Colin. A little bit. Because you can't lose you weight in your tell ears. Your face is a little plumper, <laughs> right. though. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now no. your face is skinnier. Uh, My face is skinnier. That's like ears fucking like tree rings to white people. They, 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 they <laughs> fucking giant. <laughs> I'm <laughs> very old ears. Uh, oh, shit. And you got more hair. What's no. that about? <laughs> What do you mean? It's the same hair. This weight it's loss does again. a lot of things. It's less head. Right? Yeah, less head. Because his head shrunk, so the hair would be closer together. <laughs> now we know why Colin doesn't want to come around anymore. I do pull-ups on my perfect pull-up bar. <laughs> oh, you got the perfect pull-up yes. bar. Yes. Really? Fits on any doorway. Yeah. And <laughs> he really does. They weren't kidding. It hey. looks healthy. It looks healthy weight yeah. loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, to be he looks healthy. Yeah. Shut yeah. up. Unlike what's his name? He's doing the oldest comedy trick. Trashing me beautifully, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks healthy, and then ten yeah. more minutes of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But he knows I love him. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta this throw is, that in. This I know. is what roast should be, as opposed to fucking <laughs> Comedy Central roast of somebody I never yeah. met <laughs> and don't give a fuck about. It's just be mean. Be mean. That's to a be yeah, mean yeah. for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. What roast are you, asshole? <laughs> Not, this is what like, it should be, as opposed to these Comedy Central. That's something you would say like seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when they did the Chevy Chase roast, we roasted each other. You. Stupid ass. <laughs> we, had some, we had some good roasts on this show over the years. We got to get back doing that shit. Uh, uh, what's up, oh, Colin? Can I please say you're going to ride in there, please? What, what happened? What did can, we do? You did not. Oh, fuck. What did we do? Give Anthony enough credit for that creepy shit he said. It was the greatest oh, creepy. Where, oh, where he knew all the facts about. No. Where he said he girl? wanted to lick on one oh, right, foot right, women. Right, right. It, Oh, oh, I, yeah. I farted twice <laughs> in the car. <laughs> Little tiny women. Dude, got, it was, it's so We didn't know where to go creepy. with that, it's to be so honest with you. It's amazingly creepy. Oh, it is a creepy. creepy woman? Yeah, yeah. No, I had this fantasy when I was a kid that I, there was a naked woman about this big <laughs> and totally nude, and you know, with a little little muff and, and oh. little titties and everything. She was just a little tiny yeah. woman, and she was alive, you know. And and I would take her and just lick her and 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 like put her in my mouth and and, and then you know. That is like, I would that, feel her, that is her whole body in my mouth. I guarantee mouth. if they interviewed like a lot of serial killers, serial rapists, <laughs> they would have a similar <laughs> fantasy with that. Yeah. Think so? yeah. 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 So that's I great. would never like bite her head off or anything. I just liked feeling her her nudity, no, her boobs. I, really, I and, related and, and, to this. It's like it made me. I just pictured it. I'm like, <laughs> it's so fucking oh, horribly his woman, creepy. His yeah, woman was creepy. made of ice cream. I completely acknowledge the creepiness of it. Oh, I don't know what it means. How could you not? You could have been a serial killer. I'm it's thinking. Like, uh, Cause there's yeah. something else you said. What was it? Killing of little animals as a kid for oh, a little I, while. I killed a uh, a salamander, salamander once in a in a horrible way, but I felt so bad about it. And that's like I think that crossroad of serial killer yeah. regular guy. I think what if, if you feel badly different. about it. I think it. salamanders yeah. is the is the l lizards is the highest you can. I go. rolled a um a uh, tuna can lid 
over the top of him like a pizza cutter, and he went, and it actually went. <laughs> it made a sound as I cut him in half, and I felt like shit. Like I felt. This horrible, you never killed like, 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 like a death in the family <laughs> feeling. Like I had this. No, I never killed anything. Uh, I, I hunted like rabbit after that, but you know, I hunted and ate it and shit like that. But that was just blatant killing in a horrible way. And and like a serial killer would have gone like, wow, I, I would have gotten like a rod and fucking excited. Yeah, if you got, got a rod, he would have been. He'd that's be a like serial you killer take now. The, that's that's the crossroad right. right there. But I know I've been here, I haven't been here in a long time, and it's inappropriate for me to say, but you almost probably felt something kin kinship to it because you almost all lizard like look to you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you fucking get bigger headphones so your ears <laughs> doesn't hang out of them. I know they fit like a fucking egg sandwich. <laughs> your headphones. They fit his ears like fucking iPod buds. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that stupid had the word iPod buds. buds. Already figured out his dumb head. <laughs> he can't no, his little came up tiny ears. <laughs> iPod buds. Listen, besides, you guys are behind Bob Kelly. He was telling me, dude, you got elephant ears, dude. Yeah, for like years, dude, 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 you got your coffee, your big ears. Now you know what, dude? You get older, your body changes. We're living a good life. Be grateful. <laughs> Boom. You got your friends, you got your health. Boom. So what, Dane is humiliating me every night by making me go up first. Boom. <laughs> Bobby's <laughs> <laughs> oh, brand new positivity does sick of me. We I hate it. it. It is just, it's always, it's just. He it does it to all yeah. of us. I yeah. hate oh, that, that new us. fucking motivational speaker, Bob. So he's trying to talk that shotgun barrel out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? Everyone's going to be sad. They're going to miss you. <laughs> it's terrible. Bob should get the perfect pull up bar and put a rope around it and a noose. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kick a stool out. <laughs> now that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, Listen, the, perfect, the ultimate perfect pull-up. <laughs> we were just about uh, ready to go to break here man, when these guys walked in, so we're going to do that. And then That's continue with Colin Quinn and Patrice O'Neill. Uh, Colin's playing Caroline's. Nice. Woo! Tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. 212-757-4100, right? Yes. Yeah, this what, did they change their number? <laughs> <laughs> they changed their number? 212-757-4100 is the number for Caroline's. What is this fucking number, then? I've never seen that number before. Wait, who, hold on. Because they know. <laughs> By the way, what? who made this sheet up? Let's go, Jimmy. Let's go. What do you oh, got? They no. gave the back office number. <gasps> um, that would Sam be Evan, I hear. I don't think it's your fault. I think it's, I think it's Sam. Uh, it's somebody. Uh, I, they gave yeah. the back office number <laughs> with an extension. I'd right. like to blame Sam. That'd you know what? That's the back office. That is the back office number. Seven five seven forty one hundred. Yeah, we all know that number. Call, We've been saying that for years. And then Steve, Patrice, get on it. And Patrice O'Neill is going to be at Bananas Comedy Club in Hesburgh Heights uh, yes. tonight and tomorrow. So tell that Thank scumbag you. at Bananas to call me and use me. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Are you want me to bring your tape to Harlan? It's becoming an you, embarrassment. You're at, you're at Caroline's. <laughs> I'm a gig in my look. I'm at, I'm at Bananas. I'm not at Caroline's anymore. What? Now, do you actually stand on stage with a batch of bananas behind you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got to talk about it. And that fucker, it's, it's real bananas. It's fucking bananas. The guy has to buy bananas Dude, every bananas weekend. Bananas Comedy Club yeah, I has know that. just bananas. But Harlan is a fucking nice guy for yeah. a bananas club kind of yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. all right, man. But he goes but out and gets bananas? He has why? real bananas. What does he do with the bananas when and they start riding? And he has something that I never... This is why I know i got to get something by... Soon, yeah. well, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> yeah, is that he has a, you know one of those I can go anywhere traveling comedy club in a package where it's the banana sign from <laughs> and two speakers yeah, that yeah. he packs up and puts in a truck. So if they yeah. throw him out of fucking the Holiday Inn and <laughs> he, he can just go down to the charity and the headshots are on, the headshots are on portable easels. <laughs> <laughs> you can just set the easels up fucking really? anywhere. Just yeah. oh, the rolls. kind of shit that makes you think about he fucking, fucking the early nineties. It's like shit. fucking. Yeah. Boil a room for the tactics. <laughs> guy's selling stock, and then all of a sudden there's no phones oh, in the office. Some t can I just say, please? Yes. Uh, can we please? Uh, I was going to call in to say, please is, don't talk about. Is this going to be 30 no, minutes no, of conversation? No, no, I promise. Cause, cause I promise not. I, I just want to no, say, no. don't talk about. I just didn't want. Don't talk about that fucking game until I get here. 
All oh, right. We haven't. I actually oh, no. stopped Anthony today because oh, I know he's no. ready to go off. So well, let's do it after the break. All right, cool. We're going to do that. Modern you Warfare. Play, you've played it? Holy shit. All right. All right, let's That's get all. into it. I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Holy fuck balls. <laughs> really? Oh. I think I'm even I had to Twitter it. it like the, the second I, I turned it off. All right, let's all right, yeah, all right, stop. We'll stop. Everything I look at is blurry because my eyes are burning. <laughs> right after the break. fucking burning. We'll get right into it. Because it's going to be like 40 minutes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it coming. No, it'll be good. You got the new Atari? <laughs> oh, my God. Go to the Travis. Jesus. Old friend Colin Quinn, who has pretty much blown us off for the last year. Yes, he has. He's going to be at Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. And I'm fighting the urge to take this fucking peanut butter and smash Patrice's hat in. <laughs> How good that fucking hat would look came in with this oh peanut butter. Oh, my God. It, I told him in the elevator. It reminds me of the 1980s. It's like one of those victory tour hats. You don't even like the Atlanta Braves. I don't get that. Black people don't like any of the sports teams. Really. It's just That's the hats. It just matched my underwear strap. <laughs> 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 All right, listen, Modern Warfare. I didn't forget. Let's get into this. Yeah. I don't know much about it, obviously. I know uh, it's setting all sorts of records. I, setting records. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know what you have on it. The mm -hmm. thing I have on it is that I, I thought it was the greatest game I ever played, the first version, the greatest yeah. one-person shoot. I think it's far beyond Halo, oh, far beyond... Yeah. Uh, What's the, what, any other, I, I play one Wolfenstein, why I, I need my mm. first person shooter fix. I love those, that's all I do yeah. is love those. So I play Wolfenstein, bleh, I mean a real big, ah, but this game finally comes out. They got it, I go get it. The set, I, I don't go online, fuck all of that horse shit. The story mode, the second, oh, the second gone. part of the story made me turn the game off. Whoa, no. And question my morality. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that about? The second, Part of the game, yeah. and if nobody wants to fucking hear it, I'm gotta say it so you can turn the radio off. All right, hold on, give him a, give him a second. You know, so, uh, it, well, uh, come back in like thirty seconds if you don't want a spoiler. A most, spoiler. Most, most people get it for the uh, multiplayer. Yeah, I understand. Thirty that. seconds is decreased. It's going to be You know what? Go somewhere else for the rest of the day. Three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> I'm trying three minutes. Oh yeah, right. The, the, Go to fucking lithium it or starts somewhere else out, for the, the rest of the day. The game starts out by saying, "Yeah, there is a warning." We warn you, there are disturbing, uh, there are some things that are very disturbing on this video. You can set these, the disturbing things to be shut off. I go all, I of all course, in. You're all you go in. all Gotta in. Go all Any adult man is all fucking in. Matter of fact, when you buy this game, for some reason, you have to give him your ID. Mm. It's just, you know, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Well, so, they're, they're giving all those names to the uh, Yeah, the army. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cocks. But... So I get to the I get to the game I'm playing the first step thing is fantastic. You have to climb a mountain with with the uh, with the fucking thing and you have to do it correctly like right button left button right button if you don't you fall you oh, die. Shit. It's it's fucking not fucking around and it's so not it's so violent it's not fun. Like so <laughs> when you shoot the guys you you got to duck so you can't enjoy gameplay shooting where you shoot the guy and you're like oh that was cool. There's another fucker like you just indicating you getting shot and you're turning red on the right, red on top, red on the back. Yeah. You're just dying and they, you only get shot twice before it ain't video game shot. It's real <laughs> shot. So you get shot twice, you you gotta go hide to get healed. It, it, it's it's not fun. So I get to the second level. First level's fun. Snowmobiles, all type of shit. Second level is dark, right? And you just hear guys talking Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right! It it goes. The, the title of the scene is called "No Russian." An elevator opens. Uh -oh. You walk off. You're in the airport with three other motherfuckers. <laughs> and he goes, "Remember, no Russian." Start walking. They start murdering everybody at the <laughs> fucking airport. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> You're an undercover agent. If you try to shoot them, they go traitor. And shoot and kill you. You 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 don't have to shoot the people, but you can't stop them from shoot. They shoot women, children, and fucking everybody at the fucking airport. And and here's the thing: it's not video game. They walk slow and murderous. You can't <laughs> run. Christ. They walk slowly through the fuck. And it's a real fucking airport. It's the duty free. It's the McDonald's. <laughs> And they murdering everybody at the fucking airport. I'm sitting there going, I, 
I didn't shoot anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you're feeling all Just bad. like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shoot anybody. I didn't do a scene. I didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. It took me a minute to go, what the fuck? Wow. Wow, it it some... disturbed me to that level, and now I'm at this level where it's a it's a mall, a strip mall with McDonald's and this and that. It's so hard. It's not fun. <laughs> it's so difficult. It's very difficult the, to the uh, get through the, the single is player. Un fucking believable, dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing it on pussy ass normal. Like easy? Yeah, I don't play easy. I play normal because yeah, I play yeah, these games, yeah. but. I've heard about the airport uh, sequence from somebody else, and they say, yeah, it's fu it's brutal. It, You're they're, just... they're murdering people at the airport. Yeah. Wow. People, and some guy's crawling like, no, please. Oh, God. I don't shoot him. I try to go over and push. I think X is, hey, hide under this chair button. <laughs> Cocksucker behind me goes, you, he just he shoots the guy who's, who's begging for his life or crawling around to try to live. Boom. Oof. Boom. Brutal. That's the disturbance, and I didn't. That's that's and screaming two. and running, dude. And crying. Imagine I'm, I'm a hearing. packed airport and motherfucking five guys Fuck that. dressed to the like those guys that robbed that bank in L.A. years yeah, ago. Yeah, Those guys just walking through the right. airport, murdering everything. And blood all over the place. Let me right? brutal. Just smeared blood on the floors, dude. And, and it's me, not bullshit. Let me go to Anthony uh, on the phone before we get to Anthony's uh, comments on this. Anthony, go ahead. Yeah, what's up, boys? Hey, what's up, Chase? Hey, that boy that. The boy that Patrice is talking about, man, I got the chills coming out of that elevator when they just started unloading on everybody. Women and children, bodies dropping everywhere. It's crazy. That's it's totally sick. crazy. That's some sick shit. And, and I'm playing last night. Yeah. And uh, this kid, he's like, he's an American kid. He's talking like an English accent, though, like making a joke, actually, an Australian accent. And he's talking and he's going, yeah, just, you know, and then he goes, Oh, nay. And I'm like, oh, my God, in here, too? I've heard quite a few. I, wrong. Try oh. I, nice. I've heard a I lot of those uh, online as I'm playing the game. Really? I, oh, nice. my God. And then I get these kids just making fun of me because I suck. These kids are were telling me. Oh, you're doing online. I'm doing online yeah, play. Totally different than what Patrice is doing, obviously. Now, I play with a computer and keyboard and a mouse most of my first-person shooters. Really? This, yeah, now I'm console. With the Xbox, I'm not very good with the console controls yet. I'm okay. getting better every minute I play. I'm getting better, but I'm not. These guys are getting fucking you know 25 kills at a clip. So uh, I'm going through, and these kids are taunting me, going, "Hey, noodles, noodles, why don't you just take the game back? You wasted your money. <laughs> you wasted your fucking money. You suck so bad." And then I, I like shoot at somebody and miss, and they kill me, and they're like, "Ah, you couldn't even hit the guy. You got the." First shot, faggot. You're a faggot, Noodles. And I'm sitting there. And they got me so mad and riled up. I got to the point where I'm like, I have a lot of money. And I fucked 18-year-olds. And fuck you. I believe and, him. And it's just, I'm you, so you took angry. The, you took the what you make a year route yes. on the children? I say, I, I, I make a lot of money. I have a great house. And, and, and I have girlfriends your age. So fuck you. <laughs> they forced me. To, to make an ass of myself. That's why I don't play online, because I like to be immersed at the level that I like to be immersed at. Yeah. I, I don't like this. I, the, you, what, you, why do you do that? I don't know, but you got the little headset on, so you're talking to them. You're fucking talking, going, yeah. So yeah, you just threaten to some little children? Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. And I was telling him that, uh, like, uh, 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 we tell them there's no Santa. I said yeah, yeah, I was calling their fathers <laughs> homosexuals yeah, and uh, uh, wishing horrible womanly diseases on their. And mother. they were just laughing at you. Yeah, because they made an old man upset they, online. They did. <laughs> they did. You did nothing to yes. hurt these kids. They're just they're no, still no, they, laughing at they you. They were making fun of the fact that I couldn't play as good as them, and I was like, "Who cares?" But you know who cared? Me. Uh, and I care. We got, one of, a lot. we got one of those fuckers on the line here, John. No way, John. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hey. <laughs> and you suck. I played against you, and you were like three for fifteen or some shit. Like yes, that. I and fucking it. said it, but I, I said I sucked. <laughs> I was on there saying yes, I wait, suck. Wait, guys, let him continue. Get John. Yeah, my name my name is your mom's ass. And, <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, and I just remember just watching you run across the screen while I'm sniping you from like a million miles away. 
Yeah, I, I, first of all, I just don't understand how I get fucking nailed so much while I'm running. Everyone else is running to the fucking you, HQ you and shit like that. gave out your fucking name, so everybody, that, that's got, <laughs> that has got to be cool for them to kill Anthony from Opie and no, Anthony. It's, 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 he it's, doesn't even take friend requests either, because he's so cool, his thing is, is full. Hey, so ass like, fuck. To I, I, <laughs> have, I have too many fucking friends on there already. I have to delete some already, in order to ask. He has too many fake yeah. friends already. I have I have too but, many. But John said... Cool for school. John, you said you killed Anthony and then you all made fun of him? Yeah, yeah, we all, well, not me. I knew who you were, so I was talking shit. And then, but there was like this 10 year old kids on there. You know, <laughs> and they're brutal because you don't want to hear a little high pitched voice. Fucking calling you a faggot, but yeah, faggot, you know? <laughs> faggot. I couldn't even tell if they were boys or girls. They're like, you're just a faggot, and then you'd hear like off, off the mic. <clears throat> okay, mom. Oh, yeah, you fucking great. faggot. That's great. Let's go to Kevin in Houston. Drop Everybody wants to dropping in bombs too, like crazy. These little <laughs> kids. Oh, yeah. oh, they are. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck you, you nigga. <laughs> and that's uh, when you like, bonded. Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. I take that back about your mother and being uh, rich. All right, Kevin in Houston. So bad. Kevin. Hey. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. hey, Patrice, I just wanted to let you know I never thought that I would agree with you, <laughs> but I absolutely agree with you with this game. It is what about about hard. morals? You well, never the, agree with me uh, ever uh, in your uh, life. Uh, uh, moral. <laughs> like he's just anti me, and he hates that he agrees with the fact that I didn't want to murder people when I got uh -huh. off the airport elevator. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a fucking yeah, guys, the, the way they did it. Mm -hmm. The way they did it. The airport thing, right? I usually in games will shoot. Uh, a thing. Yeah. They have you. It, you shoot dogs like you have to shoot yeah, a yeah, dog. Yeah, they're coming at you. They're just barking and you just and 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 you have to shoot them because they let they the dogs let people know you're coming. Yeah, you hear a little. So you got to shoot a dog like, like a silence and, and get them out of there. Yeah. And it's it, the airport scene, and it's probably more scenes like this, but the airport scene is the way they do it. It's so real and it's so it's so scary because you're like, man, if this happened, it's so because the way the guys move, it's, it's so like it. it's just methodical. They walk too so slow that you go, what the fuck, man? Get me past this. But it's a, it's a, it's a boy. You have the option to help join in and, and shoot. You, you can didn't. shoot. I, 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 I haven't shot one person. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he buys the game and doesn't yeah. shoot. He takes anybody. off his shoes and goes to security. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a you're a undercut. You're Donnie Brasco on this on this board. Uh huh. So it's like, you know, Donnie Brasco. He's like he he was sawing the bodies, but he wasn't killing the that scene where yeah, with Sonny yeah. Black and. It's like you're not supposed to do that shit, but he's undercover, so he couldn't. He couldn't. You sick? No. Put some <laughs> peanut butter on your wound. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is wrong. <laughs> so, it, 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 the way they did it, it you got to just play it. You have to. You got to see how they did it. It's so methodical. Right. It's so murderous. Let me here. let me go to the phones. Matt in Connecticut. Matt, I gotta play that level now. Hey, guys, hey Matt. Hey, uh, see if I, I don't know what happened to you guys, but I was playing last night some free for all uh, tournament. And all of a sudden, I blinked, and my eyes were burning, and I realized I hadn't blinked in, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. It made you forget how to blink this Jesus game, huh? Christ. Uh, I've been there with some of these video games. You just stare at the screen. Right, you don't want to blink. You're so intent. It's an unbelievable game, right. man. Let's go to Coke Logic. Coke Logic. Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Uh, hey, I, I've been playing Call of Duty for uh, so long last night, I actually told the... Uh, call screen of the wrong information. It didn't sell uh, 4.7 million dollars worth of copies. It sold 4.7 million copies in a 24-hour period. Yeah, 4.7 million copies. That's it's, obviously it's now a record, the highest. Right? Uh, nah, most, not a record. So, like, it is. I think Halo is Halo's 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 Grand, Halo's Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, really. It broke yeah, that it record. Has to be the record. It's the number one fucking debut. It's well, fucking it's phenomenal. Almost yeah. five million copies in 24 hours. Yeah. Underwater submarine. Sh it's just. It, let's get, I got to play damn. the single player. For a little bit. Why do you not do that? I'm so into multiplayer leveling up, and, and, and it's that fucking like I gotta get to the next level. That's that dragon. That's Sergeant. that dragon slayer world. That's that. That's that <laughs> world of. I'm gonna. That, what's that game where you make a character and it takes you Dungeons oh, and Dragons ever, for the rest Everclass, of your life? Everclass. It's that shit is. I would play it your way. I think Patrice before. Yeah, like even, and then maybe eventually go online. Like Madden, I don't play Madden anymore no because it's too real. It, these niggas <laughs> run. Like fucking Thomas Jones actually runs like who the 
most of the time, <laughs> this shit yeah. is. Uh, hey, somebody got some weapons as you get up in rank and shit like that. No, so, that's the good thing. Like I like this ain't, that. This ain't like a video game where you get you getting. This one's like. Oh shit! There's a bazooka land in there. You, you shot a guy that shot a bazooka. Yeah. You picked the bazooka. There's no like, hey, next time I go over here, I get an AK. It's like you got everything because that's what you, whatever that's the bad what guys got, you got pick up. Right, right. Yeah. You play it on PlayStation Three? Yeah, I, th I think so. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. Hey, JD and yeah, Tampa, so. what's up? There we go. Yeah, hey, Patrice. Uh, uh, I'll admit, the first time that airport map came up, I was kind of in shock. Mm -hmm. But you got to lean into it, man. Play it again and again. Oh, no. <laughs> Trust me, I'm going to shoot the people in the airport. <laughs> Trust me, the airport people, I'm going to shoot a couple of women that's running around. Listen, the last, the last time I played that map, I even hung back about 30 feet, and I was just walking around finishing off. Finishing like, off people? Oh, that's around screaming for help. Do you hear what he said? That's what I'm saying. The moral problem is that shit could teach teach you how to be cold-blooded, man, where mm -hmm. this, this person has their hand up like this, like, please don't, and you go, I'm going to just do and it. Like, bam, wow. right in the head. Yep. I got and the way they die, this, the physics of the body kind of flops down. It's real, right? Yeah. I got to go to Elliot. He's Elliot. an army guy from San Antonio. Elliot. Hey, what's going on, Owen? Hey, brother. Hey, uh, yeah, dude, I, I've been to Iraq, and I've seen some sick shit, man, and I'm going to tell you right now, I played that level... And I was damn near about to puke. I was just like, what the fuck is going on here? Wow. The airport thing I, again, huh? Wait till the yeah, news gets a hold of it. And what? Yeah, and no guys guys haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I'm amazed they're not on it yet. Can I ask him what <laughs> the thing? I'm asking you what bothered you. What bothered me wasn't the actual shooting of the people. It was how real they made it. The mm -hmm. way things were moving. The people were moving. The people. Exactly. It, it wasn't the gore. It was the the way they they they, they they've executed. Got, they've gotten really good at that. Like it used to be, all right. They're just little computer Where, people. They don't look real. They don't die real. Now it's uh. Where's, where's Danny? There's got to be a YouTube clip of that already. That's what I was, yeah. There's got to be. So what was, so what was his? What's the thing? That's what bothered him too. Like the way they did it. The yeah. way it seemed. Yeah, Ellie, what bothered you? Being an army guy. I mean, the way I when it first started, you know, Patricia was saying how they were talking and stuff. The way they smoothly walked out of that elevator all nonchalant with fucking body armor and the, the, the weapons and everything, and they just kind of creeped up on everybody and just started going off. I was like, okay. Like, I, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what to do. I was just kind of looking around. <laughs> right. My wife looked at me like, are you okay? I'm like, uh... Uh, are you okay? Holy, if you're playing a game and someone's got to ask you, are you okay? Dude, they ask you, they ask you, do you want to, there's disturbing shit. They don't say what it is. Hey, somebody was on the phone exactly. and said, you, there's an option to actually skip that level. It's yes, so any, any of those levels. That wow, are, really? Yeah, where you could go, they I ask you, it. you really want to do this? And sound up? Oh, we got it? Hey, Elliot, thank you. We're going to move on. I appreciate it. Elliot from the Army. Danny, there is a YouTube clip if you guys want to check it out. Airport mission. It's It's Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. People are actually asking yeah. what uh, game we're oh, yeah. talking about. Here we go. Badass. Out of the elevator. Oh, yeah, look at their faces. This is the airport. Oh, you people don't know what's going to happen. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cold blooded. All this is making me do is want to buy this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. Look at them. Look at these guys, man. You can watch this for yourself, yeah, obviously, on YouTube. It. What the fuck? Oh, my God. The guy's crawling. Oh. He's done. Yeah, very methodical. This that opening fucking just look at those people and wipe they wiped out like 50 people right off the bat now can you go away from these guys if you want to no you gotta follow these guys god damn look at like a starbucks and a jamba juice <laughs> god great wow oh my god Oh, like you said, right how they're top. falling and stuff. Yeah, nice to be in the airport to be able to pull this off. <laughs> you think planes are still taking off? 
<laughs> wow. Oh. Looks like an airport. Oh, security just bought it. The graphics are sick. Yeah. Look at the way they're walking. Yeah. That's how a terrorist walks. <laughs> God damn, there's people like trying to surrender. I don't like the fact that you can't just walk into the store if you want to. <laughs> what are you going to buy something? Yeah. This guy's got to go to pistols. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that up. is some sick shit. Jesus. How long does this go? It's like exactly. A it's a massacre. Just, it just keeps going and going yeah, as they go to the airport. It's a fucking massacre. The clip is, oh, the poor guy in the elevator. The, the clip's not even half over. Other guys are shooting, too. What if you want to shoot everybody? Well, you got to. You got it's a team effort <laughs> with those other guys. And now, wow. now they did their carnage, and now the police come, which is what they wanted to happen, so yeah. they could fight the police. It, 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 now you know. you're fighting people with other guns. So. It, it's, you know. Wow. Jesus, Patrice. That opening fucking elevator, and then just looking oh. at the people waiting online, that carnage is sick. Well, Ant, they are on it already. Charlie in Jersey. What do you got, Charlie? Morning, boys. Hey. Hey, Charlie. A um, couple days ago, I hope you were, you were just asking about whether or not the news uh, was going to jump on this. And actually, Fox uh, did a story, I think it was on Fox and Friends. They interviewed two people t uh, talking about it. Cool. Yeah, uh... <laughs> it's pretty fucking graphic. That is, man. So, someone is saying there's a husband looking at his dead wife crying during the airport scene. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I really find that hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> if you really look at the people, you see some of that, that shit going on. Colin, comment? Well, I just like the fact that they spend millions of dollars to make every detail totally realistic. And then they make the terrorists Russian. Russian. <laughs> Very goddamn Colin Quinn. That's why Colin's here. Oh my to keep God. it real. What it's, was this country? It's you safe. Hear everybody know what's going on? <laughs> He's biting his finger. Mm. And he should. <laughs> He's very angry. It's a very you good point. You are so right. They should be Muslims. The bad they guys are Russian. Islamic terrorists. Maybe they're supposed to be Chesneyans. They uh, Chesneyans, the yes. That, they, yeah. Ah, there you go. Wow, this guy's blowing off his grenade launcher at these motherfuckers. Oh, bye bye. Wow. Is that that what? Oh, oh. guy flew. Like, why can't you walk onto the plane if you want and shoot people on a plane? You can. They can. Yeah, you don't can get give them any ideas. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can get on the plane. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, that's. True. Colin, you don't play video games. Nope. What was the last game you played? Do you remember? Uh, Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little violent, <laughs> eating those little ghosts. <laughs> uh, you wow. know they've done studies on it. Uh, so was that bullshit, though? No. Mm -mm. That's crazy, right? I think you overhyped it a little bit. It wasn't that goddamn great. Let's that, be honest. That, I saw you leaning in, looking scared. I was scared. leaning in, but I was hoping to see like somebody up close. Like, now you're desensitized. Reaction. This what guy about that bloodbath in the I'm beginning. I'm desensitized from Miss Pac-Man. Patrice, when, <laughs> when are you gonna beat the game? Estimate. He uses cheat codes. No, there's what? none. There is none for those fucking games. Well, I asked because Josh is on the phone. But how long is it going to take you? Um, if I play, if I play it straight, it would take me three days. Three days, like three but, eight hour plays. Oh, all right. uh, <laughs> but <laughs> eight hour sessions. But yeah. probably I'll finish it oh, next look, week because I cool. wanted to go I like slow. I wouldn't stuff. want it to end. All right. Well, we got Josh in North Carolina. Josh. Yeah, my eleven like year old beat it in a day. And he didn't even mention how bad that was at the airport scene. I asked him how it was when I came home from work. And he said, oh, it was cool. His one-year-old? Your 11-year-old. Oh, 11-year-old. 11-year-old did it in one day. Oh. The whole fucking well, day. I believe they, these they, kids are amazing at this shit. They grow up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Uh, and now they pull him in and... Uh, and he didn't mention the airport oh. scene? We got Why did you shoot him? Well, there was one, they they didn't stick around. Another uh, father said my son went through the airport level and he was laughing the whole fucking time. Because because I he think, I think that thing. type of shit, like I, when I was younger, I could watch a beheading right. like it was fun. Like uh, Faces of Death was my favorite yes, show. I now I cannot, one. I can't watch no. Remember they grab that the guy? Oh, they grab his, an African grab his cock. Cut it. it Come on, behead from face the death. death. That's all oh, fake, stop. by the way. All fake, Face to Death. Face to death. death. All death fake. fake. That guy wasn't even a corner. Michael B. Gross is an actor. I this phony. I watched it. It's not. It's all fake. You I fucking believe. Shut up. <laughs> exactly. It's not. <laughs> in the middle of an African. No. There might be doing? one or two they real clips, but it's bullshit. Face to death is fucking real. They set up in millions of dollars to set up this outdoor 
African, like, you know, a genocide. The guy picks up the guy by his kind and just slices it off. Occasionally that there are real. real things, but you're acting like a movie wouldn't spend any money to get some extras. Yeah. It's a fucking movie. This Watch the not... cutaway from the guy when the alligators eat space. the guy, the crocodiles killing the guy. They cut away and then come back. Watch the camera work. It's all fake, you fucking... Fake. I don't even know where you get a copy of it these you days. You think where they cut the guy, the monkey's head off and then ate its brains was real? Yes. No, yeah, it's do. not. Why no. is there a camera under the monkey? Watch watch it, that watch watch it now. It's and not you, real. Watch it now and you'll go like... You could tell it's badly now acted. Now it's obvious. The cuts that are made. I never, don't think so, you man. Never see, I haven't no, seen it in a while. I don't know. It's not that, real. That Everyone, screaming monkey? I you, watched that it recently. bothers me like a fucking... Dude, are you, you saying are, baby seals are fucking... You will know now that, you're, that you have some sense. You will know that that's fake. It's all. It's poorly acted. It's obvious that it's fake. The producer is one of the guys Whoa, actually in the, in the blood orgy. Yeah. Is, is the producer. He's one of the guys in the blood. He played like the leader of the blood orgy gang. The whole thing's a fucking goof. Yeah, you know what do you call this? A goof also? S very salty. A little belly yeah, dance. Yeah, girl, belly dance. There's a belly dancer because they're in this uh, restaurant, <laughs> of course, where they're going to eat monkey brains. And then they're at a table. Okay. Hundreds now. of years old. From the moment patrons enter these premises, it's they so are phony. treated like He's a great royalty. narrator, but this movie stinks. The welcoming stinks. music and finger chimes of the belly dancer mark the beginning of this most unusual dining adventure. They like that. They're all sitting at the table. But do you understand? Table. This is the problem with YouTube and everything else. Is the fact that we were talking about one thing. I was always like this yes, since I was 11. Because the face of death, and now we're on to face of We'll go back to it. The ritual they had the mallets. Here. Yeah, they, I didn't they, need they to be real mallets. Sure, out. Yeah, that's all. All right. <laughs> Feeling that the foreigners Don't worry, we'll get back to okay. it. Right. <laughs> the waiter signal for the house specialty. Ah, I'll tell you, this looks like a fun night, no matter what the result is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Belly dancers, some monkey comes. brains. Here Look at all the cutaways. A lot of laughs. Still look like, like a fucking movie. like decadent Europeans enjoying the monkey brains. Of course. Now comes... Oh, look. Oh, look at the little fella. As the monkey he's fine. He's fine. He's acting. It's not real. Watch. They cut away. The waiter presented the men with their tools of destruction. Tools of destruction. Little hammers. And watch. You never see this monkey get hit on the head. Never. You never Who's see anything. It, there's a camera under the table. That it's fake. Oh my God. This, this reminds me. Patrice, can I have, you have Kevin Hart's number? <laughs> oh shit. Now watch. The camera under the, the table. Special trap. The animal was now ready to become the main dish. Now he doesn't look like he's enjoying that. The little monkey spinning spin around. around. This is bringing back bad watch. memories of my life. It looks like Kevin on Soul Plane. Watch the little monkey. <laughs> uh, now watch. Few simple instructions. The watch. The table Here's the monkey. For the kill. That's, That's the way to do it. If you were going to do it, that would be the way to do yeah, it. Yeah, you'd right? film it right there. Watch. Now look. Okay, I bash his head in. How is this fun? No, watch. 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 It's, they don't hit him. Watch, watch the weak hit. No, you won't even say, look. Oh. Ah, we've been Rickroll. Oh. God damn it, we got Rickroll. Rick Rickroll. Rick 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 All of a sudden, that Rick Astley video came out right when they were going to cock him on the head. Some motherfucker. That's great. Oh, we got fucking Rickroll. Oh, no. Getting Rickroll in fucking rooms. I know. I know. I know. I know. Stop. I love getting Rick Roll. We got fucking Rick Roll. Roll. Right at the moment of truth. <laughs> right when you said watch. We're analyzing this like the Zabruder film, who, and who we would, get fucking Rick Roll. Who would build that that's table? So that's, that's a real monkey killing table. It's a movie. Well, yeah, like, for the movie. Fucking, it's a prop. That's for the movie. It could be for an umbrella thing. It's a bunch of bored millionaires trying to kill monkeys. I but believe it's it. Fake. You never see him hit the monkey on the head. Now, is this Rick official that, is, that it was fake? It was, it yes. was official, or this is just. The guy so is an actor. Michael Gross is an actor. The uh, Francis B. What Gross. about the guy that cuts the guy's cock over in the middle of the genocide? There might be one or two real clips. There's we'll a few like that. real news clips in there. Yeah, they what probably just it? didn't have enough clips, so they made up all the other shit. You're not allowed to show snuff films. It's illegal to, right. to market that in video stores. You silly goose! This was genocide. Quiet. Uh, genocide. Rick Boy, did we get hey, fucking Rick Rose. Although I will show you where some real one. beheadings are. Hey, Colin, did you shoot a movie over the summer? Sure, with Sandler and all those guys. I did. Fucking a. I was gone all goddamn summer. Who'd you play? And the best part was. I was up in, uh, outside in Boston. Yeah. I was staying at the Mandarin Oriental, like the fanciest hotel in Boston. And in the middle of my summer of luxury and decadence and enjoyment with big stars like Chris and Adam, these two low end fools were at the Danvers Sheridan for two weeks <laughs> shooting a Brendan Fraser movie. That's not even good. It's going to be as big as that monkey brain fucking thing. <laughs> the name of the movie is, the name of that movie is fucking Rick Rolled, probably. <laughs> oh, God damn. Two losers at the Danvers Sheridan. I was begging. And the one week they were up there, I was doing it in New York.
I swear to God, I had a whole plan to go over there and fucking get David Spade to drive over in like a fucking nice, you know, oh. expensive limo and shit and just watch. Oh, but it didn't work out because they, they left. <laughs> when I was you, you got a big you part in the movie? <laughs> yeah, pretty big. Pretty big. Fuck Who do you play? Who's your When's character? It coming out? My character is uh, a guy like there are all these guys that come back to the small. He kidnaps town. Damon Wayans. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I didn't write one line yet. Colin Quinn, Celtics Pride. My, uh, oh, fuck, okay. The, uh, my character is a guy, they're, they're all these guys that come back to this town for like their big chill reunion. And then I play a local guy who's bitter and blames Sandler for my failures in life because he's a big success because of some basketball game when we were young. <laughs> so it was an offer, not an audition? Based on yeah. facts. Just, yeah. <laughs> I can't get back. Colin from remote control. Right. The name of the character is Colin yes. Quinn in the movie. Yeah. I play an aging man who's bent on suicide. <laughs> Sandler used to come out of remote control at once a week. You'd see him pop his face out for a bit. Here you go. Colin was on it all the time. Yeah, Monkey Brains has got a different off. version of it. Different version. The phrase is they don't hit him. Watch the little weak hit. What? No, he doesn't even. Back you don't even. Monkey. They cut Watch. away. They cut away. Look. Don't look. worry. Look, look at how fake this is. This is documentary footage. Look, see, look. Now you don't it's see the monkeys. It's not real. Head. There's no mo They're not hitting them. Yeah, if it's facing They're not the hitting death, the they would, monkey. They would really show the destruction look how of the bad monkey. They, they want to show the hand with the mallet going right, one right. mile an hour? A lot of documentaries look, that's so footage fake. Footage ten different people. That's a yeah. That's a fake head now. Of course fake it is. Monkey. It's smaller yeah, it looks than the kind of other monkey yeah. head. A different color. Why are they all upset? It's fucking Curious George. Oh, that's real. No. It might be a real dead monkey, but it's not one of those. No, it's not. Oh, that's real. No, yeah, how, do you know what a, how do you know what a cut open Don't monkey is? That might be like. a real dead animal. No, that's not like a It's not a fucking. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, so no. That's nice. real. That might be a real monkey brain, but it's not a fucking one. They did not just kill that monkey. It's a different monkey. That's a real monkey. It's the same one. It's different. It's the same one, I can tell. Um, it's fake. Okay, it's so the only much difference smaller. is now he's that smile and he's frowning. <laughs> It was a hell of a lot more than that. Too. And how yeah. much? How much monkey brain could you get out? And look, his his, oh. his, his face isn't bruised up. I want to see Rick Lasley again. That little <laughs> soft. I tell you, I tell you why I agree. Now there was a scene of one of the millionaires making a ooh face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, he wouldn't do that. You're yeah, there to bad. enjoy your day. He's show the fucking monkey head. Danny, oh. show, the, show the show the crocodile eating. I Watch. Never find that one. These oh. are a bunch of decadent millionaires. Fucking Barry Manilow. <laughs> Barry Manilow loves fucking yeah, monkey he's brains. He's monkey brains. What about the guy cutting the cock off? The hey, genocide? by the way, Faces of Death is listed on Snopes. Let's go to Snopes. Of course. Mm. Okay, go, go to the genocide. Colin's obsessed with that dumb scene. And I guarantee it's fucking, it's probably Yafit Kodo's in it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. I think we got it. Got Faces of Death, death victim of Pol Pot yeah, genocide. That's Asian. Oh, we can't get rid of it. Pol Pot. <laughs> Rwanda genocide scene? Yes. Well, Faces of one. death? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking more fake down. scene. There we go. Uh, There's nothing fake about it. It certainly is. The only thing fake and phony is your personality. Language. <laughs> 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 I got him good with that one. Sure, he certainly it did. Silence me. He didn't really have a comeback for that one. <laughs> what to say? I wasn't expecting it to go there. Right. <laughs> is, is, is it illegal to say you saw a snuff film? Because I've never seen no, one before. No, you can say no. anything. I think, yeah, no. Have I, you ever seen one before? I think no. I, I saw... I saw I, I've, seen, I've seen many. No, real, I've, I've seen I, many snuff films, I brought actually. in a video once. I, snuff? I destroyed no, it. No, 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 no. But I've seen this, many... Uh, no, no, I've seen. Oh, that, that, but I, I consider no. snuff like. Uh, I, I showed Ant once. Uh, I had a friend that uh, collected a lot of sick shit. Oh yeah. And there's there's one where there's this guy on a bed, and this woman is naked, and she's taking his. He's sitting on a couch. Was he sitting on a couch? Yep. He's sitting on a couch a naked. Okay. And and it's zoomed in on his his balls and cock, and she's like just tugging <laughs> at his. his she's giving him a cock. handy, and then all of a sudden she takes his balls and starts twisting like a doorknob, once, round and round, once, round and round and round. Twice. Three, not a four, twitch. five, keeps going, just keeps twisting in the same direction, and they get and all then, red and like right, and blue. then the and then the uh, the camera pans out, and the fucking guy has to be dead. He's dead. He's dead. It's a corpse. She's fucking... no doubt in my mind. The guy's not moving whatsoever, and he has She's just this look on his face like. Uh... I think that was in a funeral home. They they were like having right. some fun. They grabbed right. the, a I guy that. and decided to uh, do shit like that. Snuff. I know what you're gonna say. Snuff film is somebody that's hired. To um, to act in a movie, they bring them somewhere, yes. and without them knowing, kill them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not like watching, you know, Arba Dwyer blow his brains out, something like no. that. 
That's you know. Yeah, I mean, I always consider snuff being a to be a porn film where somebody gets killed. Yeah, it. yeah. Well, uh, yeah. It's a true murder caught on film. Yeah. you know. Well, that's uh, like fun. beheadings. That's uh, a lot of fun. Well, those are technically probably yeah, snuff te films. Technically, just, no. But it's got to have a sexual element. People buy them. Rich, yeah, decadent men decadent buy them. Europeans. I watched a movie with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, eight millimeter. Can we take a, yes. a break so we can leak and shit? Is that all right with everybody? Yeah, I gotta pay. Now we're all just looking at the computer yeah, trying to find yeah. Colin's awful genocide. Yeah, we'll scene. find that out. I guarantee you it's fake. No, <laughs> yeah, fake code. I in guarantee it. you it's fucking it's no. not real. Yeah, awful no. perception. <laughs> they cut the guy's cock off. Not <laughs> fucking. Gullible idiot. <laughs> After the break, guy calls. I saw up. A house can float with balloons. <laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> uh oh. oh this boy. looks bad, too. This oh, is not it. This is not. Oh, oh, boy. Tell nothing. me this is fake, all right? Oh, That's boy. it. Oh, this is that, oh, by the way, man. thank you. If, if it was on Ogrish, it's uh, probably real because Ogrish uh, is uh, very real. I, I, I used to sick. go to go fucking Ogrish.com Ogrish and Rotten.com when I was younger. I can't watch none of it. I can give you the most vile website. I think I'm getting too close to, like, death is so real that now. When I was young, it was that funny. That stays with you, that stuff. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I can't even go to sites no, where they have no. a lot of candy on it. I'm I thinking about my fucking <laughs> <laughs> diabetes. No, di uh... When I see Snickers commercials, I go, what the fuck is <laughs> going on? Here it is, Congo War! Here it is. This is it? From Facebook. In, in DRC, there's Face currently the death, a war. Congo War, too. Oh, and, uh, That's not this. Congo War, too. You know, skinny legs are skinnier than mine. Is this it, Colin, or no? No, no this of course it can't. Colin, will you please tell us where yeah, to find Colin, it? It's doing? not it. Daddy, look at the face of death. This is of death. Three. The only thing I ever saw on face of death that I believe was footage from a subway. It was one of the, th it might be three or four, where there was a guy pinned between the subway and the tracks. Yeah, they have accidents. And, stuff and the on thing, the news. that was like real footage from the news, but that, because the guy was actually pinned between the trains. I've seen much better ones. Yeah, airline crash. Like I'll show you a guy cut in half still alive if you want to see it. No, no, no that's all right. right. Thank you, no. I'm telling you, yeah. man, they had some Kenny, stuff, but Kenny not sent enough us for a movie. nice little fucking, uh, nice little email yesterday. Not anymore. With somebody, uh, that hit, I guess, the back end of what? A track, oh, the front of a tractor trailer. Someone was texting, and oh. and it completely made the impression of the front of the tractor trailer in the oh. vehicle. Like a 90 degree angle was, was just squished in by the driver's compartment. You know what? And then the last picture was the person, and they were cut in half. Yeah, it was disgusting. Well, it was an iPhone, and their fucking thing didn't send. That, 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 that fucking iron. texting and while you're driving shit, I'm going to tell you, dude, it's worse it's than addicting. Drunk driving. It's addicting. And yeah. It's worse than drunk driving. And I have to admit, mm -hmm. mm. And it's fucking. I have to throw. I thought I have to throw my phone in the back now, so I don't, so you don't do, do it. it. it it's, yeah, it's you know so... what the worst part of it is. We talk about this. Like you'll see if you could get a whole word in, without looking up, and not as a game. You just want to get your text done. So you like you do this one yeah, too. You, you, hold you, it up. you try to do it like in the the, the safe way, but it is. You realize just... you're weaved out of your lane, yeah. and you fucking jam on the brakes. It, it's got to be so many accidents. And and, and and the re and the here is the fault of p of pedestrians who think they have the right of way, uh, and they don't understand that I'm not paying attention to the road sometimes. Yeah, don't stand don't step don't, in front of my don't, moving yeah, vehicle. Yeah, don't fucking just think I see you, motherfucker. You got to be careful. Manhattan, first of all, you don't have the right of fucking way. If that thing says red, don't walk, shit. You know, don't fucking walk. And and if there's traffic where I have to stop before the uh, before I enter the the intersection, but I still have a green light. Don't fucking walk in front of me, because the second it clears out in front of me, I'm going. And now you're in front of my car, you're fucking me up. I hate that. They all start crossing. Well, how about the guy that crosses because he's got enough room? Uh, I'm, I'm coming up to the intersection. He crosses against the, the light, and another person behind him isn't even looking, just as a sheep follows him. Bam! Oh, I lay on the horn, and I, and I, and I keep gassing it towards him, and then jam on the brakes. I just love looking at that face like, oh, I'm going to be here. Everyone's just staring at you. Fuck them. No, I'm, I'm I mean, on, everyone on in the side, studio, though. they're yeah. everyone's just staring at you. I'm absolutely on his side. I'm just, I'm just listening <laughs> to him run down <laughs> these cut suckers. Hate. Everyone's just staring hate, at you. How, how, how about the woman that leads with her baby carriage uh, that is to say, I've seen to that say don't, I, you would never dare. It's like, yeah. you're going to fucking, I'm yep. going to kill your baby and I'm going to be fucked up for the rest of my yep. life. Bitch. Or I've seen people. <laughs> I've seen people cross where there's a truck blocking the view. They'll cross when the light is just turning green for traffic to go, thinking, you know, I'm, I'm already in the into uh, the crosswalk, so people are gonna stop for me. And meanwhile, the person next to the semi can't see them crossing in front. There, it's a blind spot. 
What, what, Jimmy? What's the matter? <laughs> no, I'm enjoying this. No. It's just, I hate pedestrians. He's insane. It, but it's just, it's, you're funny, you know, it's like we've all... Well, you all agree, it's like, but it's just And one time, this motherfucker right. in Cleveland, right. he didn't look this way, I'm telling I, you. He walked I, across I, the street. I get very impassioned about <laughs> driving. I'm the same. I'm, I'm uh, like, crazy. so on your side. It's just pedestrians not thinking that people... Sh I have the right away. Yeah. You it's know, like you're out of your mind. This ain't California where people stop. And wave you on. I hate that. Give pedestrians the right away. Like in any situation, they have the fucking right away. If they step into a crosswalk, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is, where you are, you got to stop it. Like you'll be dead. This at the the fucking arrogance is death. Yeah. Like come on, man. One out of three uh, people killed in traffic accidents uh, are, are pedestrians. In, Wait a minute. in New York City. Faces of death. How about the little fat lady that tried to beat the train across the tracks? Oh, that's real. And got hit and, that might have been actual. and flew and hit the I camera. I keep telling that's you, real. they that's got real footage. footage. They just didn't have enough, so they had to fucking spice it up very, all that very shit. Cute. I don't think right. the original has any real footage in it. it Maybe one or two. Right. Right. Just the, the original almost has none. They yeah. wish they had more stuff, because it was before video cameras, before we were all filming all this shit. Like, uh, we're going to break. The, pl right. the plane the plane crash, where all the bodies roll, that's like real news footage. Sure. Colin Quinn, Caroline's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 212-757-4100. Patrice O'Neill, Bananas Comedy Club, Hasbrook Heights, uh, tonight and tomorrow. And maybe, wait, one of the listeners could send Danny a link to that video Colin was. I'm sure. Has it. I'm sure they're trying already. Uh, when we get back, a guy calls 911 to jerk off. It's a great story. We'll do it next. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> Caroline's, I said Sunday that. Too. I said Sunday. Yeah. You're going to sell them all out. And breaking news, Colin Quinn wants a purple light. We got to discuss this a little bit on the show. I was with you until the purple light. Why not? We have a problem with the pedestrians trying to cross the street right. as we're trying to make our right turns right. here in Manhattan. And, and I was agreeing with uh, uh, Colin, the system is fucked up. And then Colin goes, we need a purple light. A fourth light, a purple a light. A pedestrian purple light. Or a purple light for the cause making a right turn. Because I had to listen to these suburban drones oh. hammering away at the poor pedestrians. And I was like, you know what? New York is kind of a pedestrian city. It really is. Do what I do. Ride this fucking train and ride the fucking bus. You ride the bus? No, you're, stop you're, it. You're I ride big the star. bus and the train every day. You don't ride a bus. You're a fucking bag lady. What's wrong with you? You us, live here. Show us your bus pass. It's not a bus pass. It's a metro card, you silly goose. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't you know because I don't ride here. the buses. I, I do the cabs in the subway, but uh, not a bus. bus. Well, I won't subway. take a bus. This works on a bus, too. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna. Nah, 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 nah. That's what happened to fucking sit in. What happened to what happened the other day? I was watching online, and there was an incident where the show ended early, and I saw my girl Stalker Patty was in here. <laughs> oh, what happened that day in a train? Oh, I think that was, was like Sandy a Kane. Uh, oh, that was Sandy yeah, Kane. Sandy Kane yeah, was, was, was a tranny. Management yeah. got scared and just got. Of the, Sandy uh, was Twato yeah. making an ugly. Yeah, they we got wanted, their nose in, into our fucking business. Yeah, we wanted uh, Patty to blow Bobo. I don't know, something was going to happen. Spit on his dick. Apparently, that was Patty was going to do it? No, no, no one was going to do it in the end, because they were all creeped out by Bobo's penis. But Bobo's management penis doesn't understand atrocious. how this shit works. They should just stay down the fucking hall and let us like do our thing. like a pig snout. Yeah. His penis looks like a pig <laughs> snout. It does. It's horrible. <laughs> Not a good dick. Hey, no, we got a, dick. a guy calling 911 to jerk off. You want to hear oh, this? yeah. Why? I don't know why. That's a very know good question. Gonna, does he just do it until his He needed a fucking answer, live or? fucking voice. He figured out the operator was good enough. Call 911. You got a nice butt? Huh? Tell me your name. Maybe we can talk more, but if you don't tell me your name, I'm hanging up. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Are you in pain, sir? <laughs> What's your emergency? <laughs> what a creep. <laughs> what a great <laughs> idea. Very. <laughs> What the fuck? He's just... He's just what? He's not saying anything. I guess just him knowing she's listening. Is this a little...
What the hell was that? Was that, that the was load? A, that was the load, I think. All right. That's it, really. It's quick, but... He just <laughs> jerks off to nobody talking on the other end. I thought maybe she would, you know... And she let it, and she let it stay on too. I'm sure they to got get his, evidence. Got his number. <laughs> yeah. he, he got arrested. That guy. Oh, I think I it's to. I think it's evidence that Steve's doing a shabby job producing this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> a what? Well, that I don't think corny. we need. I don't think we need any evidence. <laughs> that's not breaking more news. evidence. That's not breaking news, my friend. <laughs> Let's uh, go to Boston. A very good observation coming in from Boston. What's up, Boston? <laughs> hey boys. Hey. I O P. Hey. Um, I was just curious. I was interested because. Patrice was all upset about shooting people in an airport in a video game, but he's totally ready to run down a pregnant woman and her freaking baby in a crosswalk. No, I'm not ready to run it down. I mean, so you that know. was stupid of the woman to put her stroller out. That's first. propaganda. What you're saying? I said they, yeah. they come out. I hate when women stick their babies out. I didn't. I didn't say I want to hit. That is you pretty know. sick. And then I that didn't say sick. they was pregnant. This guy just. He's fucking it all up. He completely Glenn Beck me. He did fuck you over over there. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. You gotta appreciate Glenn Beck though, don't you? He's a raving lunatic. <laughs> I, I I do like him, man. And Lou Dobbs couldn't take it no more. He got the fuck out of here. He's yeah. out of the game. Uh, he fucking said fuck all that this bullshit. Fucking news war. It does fuck with your it fucks with your, your soul if you got one. <laughs> well, I got some inside info on Lou Dobbs. Should we go with it? That he's he's starting a radio career. How do you know? Because well, Black Earl called me and said, I, I have an opportunity to work for Luke Dobbs' radio show. But we don't he know. have a radio show? I don't know. He, he does, I think. Oh, okay. He has one here. Where? On, on Sirius on XM? XM. Because you never know what to believe with Black Earl. He's the one but... wiping boogers under your fucking console. Oh, Jesus. Let's take it back into that. <laughs> People are wiping boogers under the console? Uh, yeah. Fuck, the other day. I, I think it was rubber under. cement. No, fuck no, it wasn't. I heard, well, there was a big oh. controversy on Ron and Fez, perhaps. I, uh, they did. They did like a uh, a whole um, crime scene investigation. Really? To see where it came from, and apparently it was Dave, Eastside Dave, not Fezzy, because it ended well, up over sits there. Here, so that's yeah. the only reason. Dave's fucking Fezzy. herpy boogers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It was fucking not right. Yeah. All right. That's disgusting. Bobo's fucking here. disgusting. Bobo's here. Okay. Good. You've met Bobo before, haven't you? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> wow. Collins, I love when Colin Collins, meets new people that have been uh, Colin's a movie star. Show. He doesn't need to meet Bobo well, anymore. Well, uh, Colin was a big, big fan cock. of uh, the Retarded Laverne and Shirley. I right. still love them. Big fan of uh, Stalker Patty. I still Patty. say one of the funniest things of all time was you bringing them at the time when the <laughs> video music was oh, like yeah. the hippest game in town. <laughs> and they brought those two. Oh, Jesus. Just step <laughs> all over Colin. Well, we go, you got his... You... You, you need to be more funny, you. Scott, well, Scott, you're a little flaky, just he's taking his shit in his face. I'll be honest with you. As sick as you may be, I certainly haven't exactly been on fire today. He's got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't well, argue Morgan with you. Morgan just gets a call and he comes in. <laughs> what? Are you doing a Colin Quinn impression? No, just Borgin guy. Oh, you're barge in guy. <laughs> Here, I barge in. I get a call. I barge in. <laughs> get a call. I get. I get a. I get a call. A barge in guy service dot com. I like that. My teeth hurt. Yeah. I like barge in guy. That's not a bad idea. You like the character? Yeah. yeah. Get a call by barge in guy dot com. I, get, <laughs> I, I, I just walk in. <laughs> I assume you can start yelling little and Jimmy Norton. Is that how was it? Your I just got called. I just got got called in to do a board. Just barge it on a Formula One race somewhere in uh, San Monaco. I just walked in there, stand right in front of those cars. He's stepping so all over the and guy. They just drive right by me, and somehow they know it. Those drivers just know it. <laughs> But I think barging guys are supposed to step all over. Everything. I've never hated Jimmy more than <laughs> this moment. <laughs> the brainchild of James Norton, the barging guy. <laughs> you are a douchebag. I fucking hate you. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting character, though. As a matter of fact, I just got a call. I just got a call to barge in on a UFC event. <laughs> I wish you did. <laughs> yeah. right, right hook to your face. Should we have Bobo go outside the studio and come up with another character that is his own? I thought barging guy was good. Barging guy was not bad. Barging guy was good. Like, and and your voice Bobo came. barged in. Sure Bobo, did. we're going to continue the show. Uh, some adults are going to talk. You go outside the studio, and talk. when you uh, have a new character, you raise your hand, and then we'll... Yeah. Can I give him oh, a character? No, or, or just come Can in when you get the character. Colin? Can yeah. I give him a new one? Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. Okay, go outside with Colin. And, uh... <laughs> oh, no, Colin. 
<laughs> Fucking <coughs> Bobo. All right, I want to take bets. Bobo, hey, is... he's gonna be racist guy. I know it. Oh, no. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Fucking no one hilarious. Colin, he's man. hysteric. No one, Colin. He's coming in as racist yeah. guy. He wants no. to take. I'll, I'll take. Uh, I'll take some fucking bets right now. <laughs> Colin can't hear no us, right? Way. No. What do you think his character's gonna be? I, uh, I, gonna be a character I thought right it was now. gonna be somebody that harassed me. Yeah. Let's see. Going back to you? I, I bet you it's going to be something. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be something. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, this guy is really funny, though. Yeah, me. Norton! No, it's got to be. fucking Bobo. Yeah, I'm like, get a good voice. fucking hilarious. Just... I walked up to him out there. I'm like, well, all right, Ope wants to know what your, what your, uh, what's your character. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I'm like, the new character you were told to work on. He's like, I'm like, you got to fucking work on a character with the voice. What's the, what's the voice? He goes, I'm like, all right, just walk in. Just be barging guy. Jesus. Make up a voice. He's like, okay, how is that? I'm like, perfect. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Right, Colin, what he said. It Colin perfect. is having a tough time telling him who his character is. Yeah, what the it's, fuck? Because well, Bobo. Yeah, he's giving him a lot of direction. Bobo's I guess Bobo. Colin's hard to understand, too. Yeah, well, you're yeah, gonna, yeah, you know. Did Bobo end up mm. working with Joe? Mm. He did, I yeah. think. Yes. Yes. Again, you said Joe's Joe, and happy. I was thinking, who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, Colin's back in studio. Regular Joe. <laughs> All right, so uh, so let's get back into this here. So Colin's at Caroline's. you got fucking Patrice at uh, ah. Bananas County Club in Hasbrook Heights, Friday and Saturday, yeah. tonight and tomorrow. And everybody's here asking me about Boston. I'll just say a Chicopee in Boston the night after and the two nights after Thanksgiving. Everybody yeah. wants to know. Everybody. Every of single fucking That's uh, a night after Thanksgiving? That's Chicopee. Because they know the Spring night that's before Thanksgiving. That's two, hour, two and a half hours from Boston. Yes, that's I know. That's Boston a is Chinese restaurant in Chicopee? Yes. Colin, are we inviting uh, Bobo in? How, how oh, does this yes. work? I don't yes. know how you set up your character. Oh, Bobo! Wait, Bobo has something. Bobo's coming in. related to the show. Bobo just raised his hand. Bobo... Oh, go... Go back, go back and look for another Cracker Jack box where they, you got, where'd you get your license? <laughs> oh, he's... And mad, I'm mad at pedestrians. No, you're the mad pedestrian. I'm the mad pedestrian guy. No, right? you're the mad pedestrian. I'm the mad pedestrian guy. <laughs> I can't... The I, mad pedestrian. I mean, these wicked guys turn an hour trip into my... It to Smith Town into a into a four hour trip. No, no, you're the pedestrian. You're not the driver. You're oh. complaining now <laughs> that it's taking four hours to drive somewhere. Oh, you did you it are totally the pedestrian. wrong. Oh, sorry, I heard it different. You today. blithering boy. <laughs> 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 I'm going to pedestrian. Right? Well, it was so where you get where you get your license? You know, hey, you can't you see the freaking light? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You see the freaking light? That light is red. You don't. You're not fit. If, if, if you if you don't follow that, <laughs> your, your face will turn red. Thank ah, you. Go on. That's good. Right. <laughs> right. Bobo, he beat at you too for no reason. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to report you. You're gonna have to, there's some serious green there. And a boy. I like it. And Bobo, who are you like? <laughs> you doing the Meisner oh, technique? Who are you looking at? You're yeah, testing. yeah. You're turning your head, looking no, at. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine. Be pissed off at the at the guy at the guy right next to me. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. But you're a pedestrian. Yeah. yeah. We're probably crossing, and the car's probably headed. Why this would way. you stand there, turn your head to the left at a ninety degree angle, and yell at somebody? Exactly. You're, you're a because pedestrian. You could just turn, turn your body. But it's that turn of the. Uh, when they were turning on the right on the green light. Yeah, but he <laughs> can turn what, his body. I don't know what this Smith Town thing came in. I know he's driving out oh, to fucking Suffolk County. I, I know I messed up the role. I thought That's you said. I thought, walk, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you said mad at pedestrian. Manhattan. No, to you're mad at the uh, driver. Suffolk. Right. Oh, you're talking about me mad. Okay, at the get wait, take a deep breath and get get into character of pedestrian right. mad at the driver. Here it is. You're 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 stepping off the crosswalk, right? Yeah, and uh, a, a, dri a driver comes up and he wants to make a turn, and he cuts right in front of you and turns in front of you and almost hits you with his uh, SUV mirror. Excuse me, sir. They, don't you know you're there? No right turn on red. I can't no, believe no, no, you. No, no, no. Hey, dummy. I have a green light. Oh. You have a go. See, we're 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 parallel to oh, each that's, other. That's fucking. That's too right, difficult. I want to make exactly. a right hand turn. You're being too. You're, yes. you're, that's way. Are you fucking get? You're talking to Bobo. Uh, this has to be factual. You have no patience. There's no continuity to this scene. Bobo, you almost get hit by a car that 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 yeah. went ran a yellow light and, and you but, was crossing yes, the street. Yes, yes. And I, but but I didn't run a, a red light. The vroom machine almost hit you. Sir, <laughs> 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 what the heck are you blind? Can't you forget? The turn, the turn, the turn, the turn, turn, move, move. I'm trying to cross. Oh, hey, microphone. 
Yeah, exactly. You're very you can't freaking see me crossing. Is that SUV so tall you can't freaking see me? But, but he let. But he, but he actually <laughs> tall. he keeps there was driving. A comment though. On, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, can't you freaking see? Are you drunk or something? Oh, let me bring out my breathalyzer. Why would you have a breathalyzer, pedest angry pedestrian guy? I don't know. I'm just saying hypothetically. No, <laughs> see? <laughs> there you go, you fucking... There you go, fucking cocksucker. He shut me right the fuck Exactly. Up. It's sure figurative. Did. He's just saying hypothetically. Does anyone else have a character for Bobo? Patrice or... Hmm, trying to think. Anthony? Um, how about... Well, no, no, you got to do it outside the studio. Oh. We got to try to figure this oh, shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's the best part. Right. Don't say who you are. All right, Jimmy. We uh, have to guess your character. Right, Jimmy. Remember that, Bobo. Don't come in and say I'm this guy, guy. Yeah, oh, you're Bobo's gonna ruin it. Fucking genius. So now yes, Jimmy is uh, giving him another character. <laughs> Look at Colin. <laughs> Colin's <laughs> just. Colin is disgusted with this. <laughs> no, no, not in a disgusting way. Just disgusted. I was okay. disgusted. I couldn't. Th I was trying to think of a better character. A better character. Get it in here. I liked angry really? Yeah. Guys. yeah. Oh, okay, All Bobo. Right. Yeah. Bobo's coming back in. Bobo. Bobo! <laughs> Is he not come in, guy? Oh, no, shut up. Don't say who you are. Go ahead. Hey, Opie, I got a microphone in my pants. I want, I want to suck your microphone in your pants. I got somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst interpretation. He was supposed to just come in and tell Opie he wanted to suck his cock. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm like, you're a gay guy. Just just hit on everybody. Tell Opie you want to suck his cock. Why would you say something about a microphone? No, no, because Opie's... Yeah, double entendre. Yeah. Double entendre. All right, it went over the heads. All right, Patrice has got one. It's deca entendre. I didn't get it at all. No, it was horrendous. All right, Patrice is out there coaching young Bobo into a new character. So when he comes in, you will hear Bobo as... A character, and then we have to guess. You can play along at home. Try to guess. Yeah. What character Bobo is portraying when it comes to? All right, Patrice is working. Yeah, Patrice is. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, but Patrice tends to over-explain. He'll be out there for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> really? You think? It's like yeah. Shouldn't it just be quick? You're this guy, and then he's got to think about uh, the material himself. Yeah. But uh, Patrice just likes having an audience. He's, gonna, yeah. he's just going to talk yeah. to Bobo for the yeah, next hour. Exactly. He's out there. Uh, Bobo's going to be this next stupid barbecue. Oh, oh, oh here we go. <laughs> Patrice is walking back Patrice in. Patrice is back in. Bobo's right. here. He's getting there on mic. Is. All right, here's All right, Bobo. a brand new character. We don't know who it is. Let's see if we could guess. Hey, I had to take out of my busy schedule. Why the, why the, heck, is everybody, why the heck is everybody pissed off at me? Oh. Steve C? <laughs> no, they're pissed off at me. Uh, that, I get every white guy complaint calling my number. White guy's calling his number. God, yeah, get, what happens? What I get, happens in the translation? I get, I get, e I get, e I get emails uh, all all the time. Oh my god! Yeah, they're all free. They're all free to me. Oh, I got it. Go ahead, keep. I know who it is. They're I know who it is too. All free to me. I get. I get a dress. I get mail addressed to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I got it. Death threats. Wow, you're. Keep Robinson. You're Keith Robinson. Now, Keith Robinson does not live there. That's not his address. Oh, oh really? We thought it was. Oh. 1600 Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. You should ah. obviously know what address that is. Jesus right? um, And I'm sure yeah, they're, they're going to know yours, yours too. <laughs> Way to go, Patrice. <laughs> my name, you should have just said, it rhymes with Papak <laughs> Flofama, <laughs> you fucking asshole. He just said 1600 <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. Well, where is that? He uh, pulls out some fucking genius shit. He goes, Hey, ass face, it was hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. Then he goes, 16 Pennsylvania Avenue, because you guys don't get the fucking fact that I'm the president. <laughs> Bunch of boobs. <laughs> yeah. Because he gets emails. That's, that's uh, who are supposed people to that hate him. Yeah, well, hey, you're going to hate me. They say, uh, hey, you, why don't you change your, why don't you change your attitude toward me? I'm, fr I'm freaking down on my, I'm down on my luck here, and you want to tax my ass off? Who's? Anthony Obama? <laughs> That's no. Anthony. That's my guess. Yeah, it's Barack Obama. Well, I don't know. Barack Obama. Obama? <laughs> yeah. But, but why, why would why you be mad that he's gonna life? have his? No, no. I said the guy. I said. I, no, I said no, 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 no. I, what? No, I'm saying I got. What? No, I got. What? No, I got. A, I got. A, I got what? a message. Of, I got a mail letter from someone complaining about being down on a. Oh, it was a letter. 
You're complaining that I want complaining. Complaining saying, I, about I want, what? And do you see how he's sticking out his stately chest? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He has stately. a stately chest. He's defending his point. You're lying. Uh, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You see, he tries to do his no, own see, voice it's now. The yeah. lying is done. His yeah, hook stinks. Yeah. yeah. I like it. <laughs> All right, Bobo. Let's get him out of here. Bobo. Very good, Bobo. Um, we'll Bobo bring him back for another character in a little while. Yeah, try to think up one of your own and just come yeah. in. Oh, why would he do that? That was pretty Don't good. Don't be barge-in guy again, though. <laughs> Brother Weeze is outside the studio. Where's the Weeze, man? Oh, yes. I saw him. Do you think barge -in guy was a good character? What? I like barge -in. You like Brother Weeze? Have you been on Brother Weeze's he, um, show? Oh, no. Uh, an inductee. Where's he? There he is. Are you intimidated? Are you intimidated? There he is. He, he just got into the Radio yeah, Hall of Fame last night. Good. You know Patrice yeah. O'Neill? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. You know Colin Quinn? Patricky. He, he might not remember he was on once with me. Uh, you might have been with me. We were in Montreal. Okay, yeah, for the comedy festival. Go ahead and leave. No, I don't remember. I heard was that. you on? Yeah, thanks. No, 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 no. He said he's good. Yeah. We were uh, we were just getting into some Obama stuff, I guess. I don't even know. Obama, yeah, Bobo was trying to be Obama, and we couldn't figure it <laughs> well, out. Well, I, I went to dinner with Weez last night. It was very interesting that you're sort of uh, losing a little faith in the Obama man, right? Hold on. Uh, the deal is, uh, you see, of course I've lost a lot of faith in Obama. I'm a bleeding heart liberal. I uh, campaigned for Obama. I will fight for Obama. But uh, what I told people before the election even happened... Ugly conservatives, you know, tea baggers, and these nine, twelve morons that might be in the room right now. I don't even know. But these kind of people, these kind of people, I will fight to the end, bro. Right. Even though Barack Obama isn't isn't delivering for the liberals, the truth of the matter is Barack Obama isn't even a liberal. So we've lost faith. Of course, he's but a the socialist. reason I will fight against them <laughs> is because the people that fight against Barack Obama that think all these ridiculous things that he isn't. Like a liberal and a socialist, those are words that the right uses to scare the idiots. Socialist. We should be so lucky to be socialist. Get Why? lucky. Why? Be yeah. Why be lucky to be socialist, though? Well, first of all, you don't have to worry about it because I'm pretty sure you got deep pockets. Exactly, but let me tell you something. The American system of capitalism gave me the opportunity to do that. Why should I then have to dish out you... what I earned to help bring people up as Obama? Well, first of all, that wouldn't be a uh, not a brotherly or a Jesus type thing to do. No, no, but no, second no you're of taking that out of it. But no, no, I already am, by the way, because I'm taxed uh, up the fucking ass. Whoa, Why I forgot where I was. I, yeah, I don't yeah. get to do fuck radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Uh, you, you're not taxed as much as when uh, there was at one time 90% tax on rich people in a very, very, not yeah, that was, long ago. There was also black and white drinking fountains, so, you know. Exactly. You know, they were called the good old days. By the way, <laughs> I like that. But you know, who, uh, you know who changed that about the black and white drinking fountains? Liberals, my brother. Liberals were on the right side of every single argument. Were is a great word you well, use when there. Did it change? When did it change? Uh, 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 both parties have changed over the years, you know. Uh, but I, I think it changed somewhere in the eh, 70s, 80s. Uh, liberal became uh, something more than just um, uh, social causes. It became this intrusion into America's life yeah. of, of too much government, and uh, uh, it, it's left us. Um, I don't know. But it wasn't when they became the broke. language police. When they became yeah. they became the repressive language though. police that they yeah, always yeah. hated in the conservatives. It was, more it was it was more humanity, and now labels take the humanity out of everything. Liberals aren't what they liberals. Are what people used to be just like do the right thing. That's why people who supposedly voted for Obama this past thing. This is where I, I was upset about this whole thing. Is that I want to see the white people that dead? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just assumed. No, I want to see the white people. My thing where you know how it's easy to be gay now. Meaning back in the day, a gay guy. But like I'm looking oh, at brother right. Weezy's yeah, yeah. hands, his tattoos. Those are tattoos you can tell. Before tattoos, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. before a bitch had their, her little flower on her ankle and shit. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is, I, I would have loved to meet the white people or have a, a his, historical base of white people who were help, who were that those helping mm -hmm. the yeah. cause before it was cool to fucking be right. Helping the cause to, to, to be a good white person. Right, so what right. I'm saying is, that before it was a human thing. Now being a liberal is easy. Being a conservative is easy. You just have to follow the fucking rule of what it is. It's all corny. 
It's all fucking corny now. It's, it's not legitimate yeah, I think shit. When you, I think when you were that white person that was uh, marching with uh, blacks in Selma, you were doing stuff, some shit. Then you were making a statement. Now it's like there, there's a bunch of followers who, and they can't even see who the leader is. Some it's fucking ninety-five year old dyke. Can you imagine talking to a ninety-five year old dyke? <laughs> who are you talking about? <laughs> Janet <laughs> Reno. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, a, a, a woman. Like she went through some guy, shit. Right? Who did something? When it when it was dangerous, I met her at the speakeasy, and we had to go to some city hotel to eat some box. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I just want to say something to Brother Anthony over yes, there sir. because you see, this is the same crap I run into all the time. When he started switching over about how liberals are a different situation now with the parties, when I argue, I argue strictly liberal and conservative. Okay. Fuck the parties. I don't want to know about Democrat and Republican because people bring up this crap about it, the Democrats were the right wingers a bunch of years ago and it did switch over i ain't talking about any of that liberals are the people that got everything that we have now that's that we think is good even to medicare social security blacks and whites being able to get married women being able to vote that's all liberal causes and, and the people let me just okay, finish this yeah. the people that fought against that crap are conservatives you're yeah. glenn becks and these cocksuckers all uh, uh, getting people to run to washington with barack obama painted up like hitler and the Joker, fucking it assholes. It was okay when Bush was painted like that? Yeah, though? you know why? Because what? you're full of shit, Anthony. Bush was painted like that for two seconds. They didn't have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 people in Washington spurned on, spurned on by radio assholes, and that's where it all came from, 100%. These people didn't show up on their own. They were pushed. And Bush, sure, two people thought Bush was Hitler. Nowhere two near. People. Two people. It was so accepted Bullshit. to, to badmouth George Bush. And believe where, me, where'd you hear it? Uh, Where'd you hear it? For eight fucking years. Where did you I'm asking asking you everywhere. Legit, where? CNN. C oh, fuck uh, you. MSNBC, that, NBC, oh, CBS, both. everywhere but Fox, who is obviously biased. Right. Obviously? I know. I, nice I, I'm moves. Not they just point. pulled a couple days ago. Not and That's by how the way, they do. Higher, higher rated than any of those other. Big fucking uh, deal. I'm just, you just wanna, do you want to compare their ratings to the three you call the liberal? Liberal TV, ABC, CBS, NBC. Fox got a pimple, my brother. Yeah, well, a pimple. That's because it's cable. compared. It's killing him. It's killing him. Right, it's and they kill CNN. Good for them. Because why? Because it's the because truth. Because they're talking something? about what people. Uh, Bullshit. I, they're least, idiots. You can't deny that the media. How about this black professor that just punched this white woman right. in the face? Well, I don't Where know is about it? This shit. Because, uh, of course, that, you don't know about it. No, because it's not in the papers. It's not. It's not in the papers. the papers. Well, you know about it somehow. Yeah, it, it was on the New York, New York Post dot com. Well, covered it. That's it. Why did the New York Post put it? Well, it's probably in the paper. It's not in the paper. It might have been it's in for one day. Post? No, it might have been in for one day, but it's not in. It was not in the Daily News. No, you cannot deny that the liberal, uh, the media is is uh, overwhelmingly liberal and overwhelmingly well, left, let especially when you're dealing with race. Okay, let me ask you this: If that's the truth, why do you think it is? Is it there's a meeting somewhere? I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you where it is. Well, let's get no, this it's shit an unspoken together. thing. It's an unspoken thing. It is white elitism. Uh, it, it is white elitism who don't want to deal with the fact that blacks are angry with white people because it somehow uh, makes them feel guilty. That's exactly it's white elitism. That's exactly what it is. That's what the liberal media is. Yes, the liberal media is worried about the black folk are pissed off. We don't want to. They're the same ones that, that right fucking. Thing. They're that's the same a, ones. That's please, a big issue. they're the same ones that are afraid to put a black criminal in a commercial. They're the fr same ones that are afraid to say the word black because they're afraid when they say it, they're the not, ugly way they feel no, about it is going to come out. They're not afraid. It, it, look, of course man, they are. It, it's of not course about fear. It's, it's why would any Anybody, what listen why would why would the people who run the world be afraid of what they are it's afraid of an it, acknowledgement because the they don't want to deny what they are people don't want to admit that they're fucking living a white privileged life they don't want to acknowledge that so they gloss they're not afraid of being hurt but they're afraid of, of the honest admission like yeah black people are fucking angry at us they want to just fucking gloss it over and pretend it doesn't so exist so can i ask you why sure. why uh what is the uh the catalyst for the anger with Obama is—is is it racial? You mean on my side? I don't oh, understand no, what you're no, saying. No, no. Why do I think tea baggers don't like Obama? Why do you yes, think tea baggers? Yes. Well, you know, I don't want to get into this fight in here, but there's no doubt in my heart that the people I saw at that 9/12. And by the way, if anybody went to my uh, little website, weez.com, there's a video of these fucking morons talking about the czars. You know, because they learned from Glenn Beck, who's a genius, that Barack Obama's got czars, and that's some scary socialist communist shit. These people were interviewed, bro, interviewed at the 912 Tea Bagger Moronic mm -hmm. March, and they were talking about these czars and stuff, and the person doing the interview and said, Do you know what that is? And did you know Bush had czars? Maybe more. 
No, we didn't know that. They, they don't know half of this bull crap. What they do know, sorry, my man, I do believe there's a ton of racism involved in here. Because when this cat, I'll tell you something real quick. I'll, give me a second. Where I work, like where you work here, a bunch of radio stations, there's a conservative talk show host two doors down. I hate the motherfucker, you understand? This guy's on the radio every day spewing what I believe is hate. And when the Barack Obama, wait, listen to this, when Barack Obama became president in three weeks, this dude put out Fubo t-shirts and Fubo stickers. Fuck you, Barack Obama. Look, check this out. But, but we, hold on, hold on. But, but, but the, the, arrogance, the arrogance of the left... To oh. think, hold on, no, hold on. Let me, right, let me, right, right. To think that anybody who goes with conservatives or go or went to those tea parties was led and pushed, oh. whereas liberals, there's a go real ahead, intellectual go ahead, go ahead. arrogance with liberals. And go I want to know where was the media attacks? These are people who just don't want to pay higher taxes. Where was the same mockery of the fucking code pink protesters or gay rights protesters or uh, I illegal immigrant why, protesters? Why, why should I? Why should I mock gay rights protesters? I don't care. Why should I mock? Doesn't that? it bother you Does though it, that I the don't media see, would I think choose? It's a good thing. How could you say it's not a, it's not a bias when the media would choose to just m openly mock these people who are protesting because they really just didn't want and they're having town hall meetings? Town like hall the media meetings, was mocking them. Talk about town hall meetings. Let's talk. Let why was the media, right, why was the media that mocking that them and not brain. the other groups? But be, why, because they're mockable. The motherfuckers at that nine twelve thing were pushing. I mean, you deny this fact. Look, this comes from my heart. I fight this because I bleed for people. Think whatever you want. This is not a team I signed up for because I think it's cool. We're the dickheads. We're we're the ones in my city. There's zero liberal talk, and as you can hear Beck Savage. Hannity or all this, you understand? So people don't even get to hear the shit I'm saying to you now. And I don't do it on the radio, by the way. People are probably turning your show off. I was going to say, thanks for doing it on I ours. <laughs> Why is there no liberal but, talkers? No, no, no. In all honesty, no, they tried Air honesty. America. They, they tried Air America. It, if, it, it's, you, you know radio better than any of us. It's built on fucking making money. And if people aren't tuning in, if liberals are coming off as pompous and self-righteous and whiny, people don't want to listen to that. Here's the deal. I told, I hate to say this, but I told Hillary Clinton to her face when when uh, when uh, Air America was on with Al Franken. And by the way, I hate that uh, Randy Rhodes broad. I mean, I'm a huge liberal looking for a champion. I can't stand the broad. Uh, this Lynn Samuels is probably a friend of your guys. Is on the one liberal channel right now on Sirius, and she hates Barack Obama. So the liberals freak out. <laughs> but when you say why we mock, are you, is your question why do we mock the tea baggers? How, in, What's a distinct question? How can you deny? the bias of the media, when you look at the way they handle those protests, and when you look at the way they handle other protests, whether it, anything you want okay, to name. Let me, let me quick ask you a question. How did the media handle the teabaggers that you're pitching about? It was, it was it constantly confronting them, co the reporters. Calling being, them racist, yeah. also. And 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 it was the, where did you see that? Racist. Where did you see that? CNN, Again. every network, MSNBC. What? Okay, those are two. What else? Well, see, every place a, I saw no, them. You didn't see it on ABC, CBS, and NBC. Oh. That's the part of the liberal media that you guys talk about. That's bullshit. They report news. And if, if it really? Conservatives don't <laughs> finish when conservatives don't like the news the way that that's why Fox exists. That's not true. Right. It's just not the truth. Okay. I'm watching so this I media blackout. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm watching. A, there's a media blackout on the fact that a black Columbia University professor punched his white female coworker in the face while they were having an argument at a bar about over race. Ra about race and white privilege. By the way, I did read it on my BlackBerry when it happened, but, I, Go, but I, I'm sure it'll be out. There's look, it's not Fox, Fox will put it out, and everybody why, will have white I miss. I, every network showed Imus every 30 seconds. Uh, uh, with, when there was a noose, a black female professor at Columbia University found a noose, which is a symbol of black lynchings. Uh, it was uh, front uh, page news in the Daily News. Front page news for the Post. Fat Nick. They beat up these three the black... Post? Front page news on the Post? The Post is a right wing I, I understand it's all my Murdoch, right. but I'm all saying right, right. They're, they're for, Fox is not even covering this one. Fox, why? That's I, a great question. Why, why because when be it comes to race, they're all phony. The Drudge Report had Fox? it up and it's gone. All of them. What's going on? They didn't kill Jesse Jackson. They showed Jesse Jackson's clip about Barack Obama. I want to rip his balls off. He's talking down to niggas. They didn't show him say he's talking down to niggas. They could have killed Jesse Jackson with that, and they didn't. Well, where'd you see it? Uh, you might have seen it one time. Right. When you see something I one saw time, on CNN a few times. You, 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 yeah. you, it was not. Come on, it, they didn't play that the way they played Don Imus. You know that. Don't be stupid. They, didn't, up they didn't kill them with it the way they did kill fucking Imus with his with his uh, joke because for some reason well, well, it is no, uncomfortable. Can I, say, can I say why though? It, it, it's it's. When when a white guy does something uh, racial uh, out in public, 
the 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 I don't know white meat or whatever you want to call it. They vilify them like they vilified Imus and they vilified right. Michael Richards, Michael Richards sure. to say this is the lion shit. To say here's here he is. This is this is the motherfucker yes. that's racist. <laughs> yes, like I said, yes. I've been, I've, we all believe racism to be to exist. I don't like talking about it no more because I can't find one unless <laughs> unless some white guy fucks up and says nigga by mistake or or Michael Richards goes on a rant. <laughs> that's when I see a racist. But I'm saying, but they, you're so right, but they vilify him to go. There he yes. is. It's not us. Yeah, I, exactly what I'm up. saying. You're saying exactly what I am saying. It's a bunch of white people spanking, uh, spanking certain white people. They're not dealing with with race honestly because they're afraid of being exposed. Politically correct people are not which, afraid of being misconstrued. They're afraid of being exposed. Which was a ploy? Racist. Which was a ploy to remove? Look, if if white people can't have fun, nobody can. It was a ploy to stop the word nigger. We, it was a ploy to stop using the word nigger anywhere. If white people can't say nigger, nobody white can say nigger. White people can nigger. if they want to. If black people want, can. Because but they can't. White people are punished by other white people. That, Take that, it one step farther. That's though. where why the N-word comes why from. Is it this? It's because white people can't say nigger. Why they not? They cover yeah. black crimes. Yeah. N-word. They cover black crimes. I have to say fucking N-word. They, they N -word. cover black <laughs> crimes, but they don't My show word. black on white crime as hate crime. They won't show the racial component. They show black on anything crime. They won't show the racial component. I don't know why they won't do it. I don't want to be racial anymore about it because what black people here's where we fuck up anytime somebody black fucks up we have to defend it's like they group us all in to where you go well patrice gee whiz nigga shot somebody at a gas station <laughs> i i black people are not allowed to go fuck that motherfucker white people get to you get to vilify your villains we have to fucking defend michael vick somehow when I love no, you, don't, you don't have to defend him. That's part of that's part of uh, I know you don't I have don't. To. No, you know what I'm saying? Part of a black, you know what I'm saying? I don't uh, have to. Don't but that's laundry. the fucking rule. Right. Like the uh, the thing about the the black. Can you imagine if a white Columbia professor had punched his black female coworker in the face during a racial argument? I can't deny any of that. But why we got to be stuck up on be just that? Because I'm talking about the liberal bias of the media, and you're saying it doesn't you exist. You said Fox isn't even doing it. Not, when sure it comes to liberal. that, nobody touches well, it. Well, maybe it's not liberal and conservative. That is. A issue. Very, very liberal stance that even Fox won't go near. They well, had it on drugs, and they don't touch it. What's that? Doesn't make any sense. But why is it? No, it doesn't make All any I sense. All I know is the nigga Fox... president had to have a fucking beer with a cop because <laughs> he said God. he was an asshole. <laughs> but that's the, by the way, the shit. second black yeah. intellectual in, in, in a major HNIC institution to have a racial incident. Well, yeah, he had it. Well, he came out and called the guy an idiot, the cop, right away. But 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 he says let's not rush to judgment over the fucking terrorist that shot up. Because uh, he got because because he gets oh, pressed into one. having his fucking his rule. But he he should have told that cop, "Eat my ass. You are an idiot." Because oh, he's the president. Well, that's the, that's some of the, the perks of being the president. Maybe he should have shut, shut his mouth. Maybe should have shut his mouth over that instead of his asshole buddy fucking crying to. I'm sure he was on his fucking phone. <laughs> hey, Barack, I got a cop in my house. He's fucking with me. You know, Barack should have kept his fucking mouth shut until the facts came out. <laughs> but why? Why? Because I say that even at Fox, they have the same racial discomfort that they do, and the liberal media outlets have become. The, the problem I have with liberals is they become the same thought police that they always hated the conservatives for. They become the same. When were the conservatives the thought police? So when I they can, were fucking so going to understand it. When, when they were going after Lenny Bruce in the fifties for criticizing the Catholic Church. That's conservative. When, when they were going after uh, uh, a lot of people for criticizing the church or for criticizing the country, you're considered a communist. I mean, for years and years, the conservatives have been horrible. But you're saying when did it turn against liberals? And I think. Uh, when they became the people they hated, which was uh, well, through the 70s I, and up through the 80s and now. Well, not I believe that I'm a fucking sick-ass, bleeding-heart liberal, and it's got nothing to do with, po with politics, per se, Democrats and Republicans, and I'm never going to be any different. And when I watch Fox or listen to Glenn Beck, if I did it with you, I could point out every hateful fucking lie. But why is That's it hateful? That's all I'm telling why, you. Why, why is it why not hateful when nobody's doing it? I'm going to tell, tell you why. Because it seems to me, and you're, I don't want this argument will go on forever, and I'm fucking your show to death. People People hate nah, this nah, shit. Nah, nah, I'm fine. telling you, nah, this people is, hate this, <laughs> like shit. this shit. But listen, be, why is it hateful? Because it seems that, like, for instance, when Tiller was shot, you know, uh, 
O'Reilly called Tiller Tiller the killer. He's the abortion doctor. Right. And, you know, there's a first, you know, the guy got murdered. And, you know, there's a chance that some friggin' hillbilly cocksucker was watching O'Reilly every night and goes, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take one for the team. And they went and murdered. Let me finish. Went and murdered the friggin' abortion doctor that was working under the law of your country. That's right? exactly what I'm saying right so now. I'll tell you that's how. why it's hate, bro. It, it, no, no, that's it, why. But it's the Leaves thinking. The murder. It's the thinking. Maybe we made each other's point then. Because what I, maybe you're saying that was hate. But what really? I'm saying is that's the thinking for other people stuff that makes liberals so arrogant. I don't care. It is the thinking. Trying. I'll tell you what. Maybe some cocksucker will watch O'Reilly do that and go and kill him. Like whereas, like a liberal will say, I'm intelligent enough to watch O'Reilly and make the distinction. But the average dumb American but that's, isn't. That's the oh, average. That's where the news fucks up now because. The news is supposed to be telling us something and then back off. They're supposed to say, right. the, uh, 3,000 people got shot in there Iraq and then b there back go. off. Like, they right go, 3,000 people got shot. Oh, shit. Like somebody goes, it has a, 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 a an opinion about the news. They editorialize, but the, yes. The news is, it doesn't exist anymore where they just go, even right. these cornball news shows like in the morning, there's like, not, a, there's like a girl going, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. do you think that's kind of... I, fucking shitty, don't you think? I gotta address something that we said sure. uh, about hate speech and, and people, maybe some hillbilly being yeah. influenced or something like that. Let's take a bleeding heart liberal that looks at what you call the tea baggers and right. the, and those poor protests that right. were that were protesting higher taxes. If you want to uh, say that, well, I I do want to say that. That's bullshit. And, and, it's complete and, fucking bullshit. Uh, well, well, okay, and it's bullshit. And now maybe uh, somebody's being labeled as a racist uh, when they're not a racist because of what liberals are saying about them. You're fucking. Uh, uh, putting labels on people because it's easier than accepting the fact that maybe they're just mad at the way the government is running. Okay, and, and can, I ask you, can I I answer? am tired of paying okay. the bill okay. for every motherfucker okay. in this okay. country. But where the fuck were these assholes when George Bush was the president? I didn't see no goddamn teabaggers flooding goddamn Washington, D.C. with pictures of what you said. There were and fucking... The bull fucking right, shit. A lot of anti-war anti protests were going on. When God George Bush they, showed up... Oh, no, no, I'm not saying they're right. bad. Look, right. look, hey, I'm not saying it's bad, but they were there. Whenever George Bush showed up at the UN, there were fucking lights. The, the police uh, had to come out in droves the, and to keep the protesters away, can, away can from I, him. Can I comment, please? Sure. Those fucking protests are so different from that tea bag. How is let, it different? I'm trying, let me, I'm going to tell you. Americans expressing their, their I will dis, fucking tell disenchantment you. with the uh, government. But go ahead. I'm going to tell you why they're so different. Because those liberals, which, by, by the way, are far-left liberals, those liberals that show up at the UN and stuff, don't have some radio and TV station to rally them up to go. They well, do it. Sorry. Wait, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. They are sincere and maybe wrong, but they show up on their own. But when you got a fucking guy lying about czars and scaring people with socialism, and bro, let me tell you something. I know you guys are intelligent, but that socialism shit is just a knee-jerk word for people to get scared, and there's no truth to it whatsoever. ever. Wait, let me finish. And you can go to any... If you guys live in New York, go to some socialist professor somewhere, talk to Bernie Sanders, you might know who he is. He's an act well. Bernie Sanders is a, is a senator who's a socialist, a Democratic socialist okay. senator. He will tell you this. All real socialists will tell you this guy isn't anywhere near a socialist, Barack Obama. But well, you just said that the anti-war protesters showed up because they. It, it's such a subtle thing. People don't even realize yeah, they're doing it because they wanted to. It was a reaction they Without wanted to. Without anybody at, at all. And you're saying only liberals can have grass. And that the TV was. Well, it's amazing. amazing. What the fuck? Only what liberals the truth? are allowed to you know, have grass. That's so cocky that's, because you're not, just saying it. And it's, Bullshit. It's just not, because more people. Uh, we have I'm not a liberal. I'm not oh led by just because Just because oh. there's more successful conservative radio and television shows doesn't mean that conservatives can't show up uh, under their own accord. It just so happens, <sighs> coincidentally, there's more conservative shows. Uh, but every time liberals, hundred to one. Anytime liberals get together, it's grassroots. Anytime uh, conservatives get together, well, it's fucking planned. I'll tell you what, Anthony. If you want to work on something called oh, fucking. World, wait, shit, if you want man. to talk about something called evidence. Let's work on evidence. You tell me, you tell me where these radio or TV shows were that sent people to protest wars and stuff, and I'll show you a fucking all kinds of people that sent people to be teabaggers in Washington. Come on, it's ridiculous. You don't think? And I'll tell you one can last, show one last thing. Oh, shitty device. How did they show up? They had enough. That they're pissed okay. off. At, at Why didn't they show up then? When when Bush was president, how did the anti-war people get together? Wait, just, but you they just thought of question. it and just decided just to go. Oh, that was a reaction. That's that's right. That was grassroots. But they read their, each oh, other's well, mind for no, the first time. None of this shit's real. I guess, it's I guess, not real. It's all what? bullshit. It's all it's it's all against the people. This like this argument or this conversation, liberal. You they, up there, 
They don't. The they, don't sheep. they don't call these motherfuckers Barack. They call him Barry. They don't give a fuck. Barack he Hussein fa Obama. He, he owes favors. People. He's the fucking. See, this is the thing about the president. He again, if the president can come in at in four years. Each four years, you change the entire infrastructure. Where you come in and go, you know what? War's over, motherfucker. No <laughs> Afghanistan, no Iraq. Let's just come up. The president is nothing. I don't even understand why he's the the figurehead in this. He yeah, can't right. stop anything. You're right. The next guy's gonna just do the next thing. It's it's horseshit. I agree with you on the that liberals one. have become arrogant and thought policing, and that's what drives me crazier about anything their ideology, it's any of their war stances. I, I, we've dealt with it as entertainers. It's amazing. I watch what Imus got fired for. I watch what, uh, what black performers don't get fired for. And that's not black people's fault. That's fucking white people who are just targeting other white people because, like, you put, hit the fucking nail on the head. We're going, that's the one. That's the, the naughty one, not me. It's all about keeping the focus I on the white I was upset that black performers didn't immediately stand up for I'm fucking Imus. Immediately. That's yeah. the thought policing shit. That, and by the way, media matters. That clip was a week old. They were the ones who uh, targeted that. They didn't target Al Roker for doing an epilepsy Al joke. Roker. For doing of an epilepsy people. joke. You understand? Yeah, well, Roker. he blogged very heavily about I was getting fired. He's a militant. He was very, very vocal about <laughs> I was being fired. He was very vocal about I was being fired. He's the whitest black guy in town. He's a wonderful fellow. Exactly. He's not a third. Of course. But do you understand what I mean? They target the speech they don't agree with. They don't target other speech that they do agree with. They don't target people who ideologically they agree with. It's, so basically they what you're doing is police. calling, you call people dumb because at the end of the day, I, I can go, hey, everybody, get together and let's do this. And, and you're allowed to go, go, f no. Right. But mm -hmm. if, if, how can you get mad at Glenn Beck if he can get 50,000 people to go do dumb shit? <laughs> And like said, Janine Garofalo, if she wants to get fifty thousand people to go do dumb shit, yeah, it's the fifty thousand people's fault. Obama won. <laughs> they're fucking stupid for doing what the fuck they're told to do. Hold on, all this, all this leading the idiots. All the conservative radio in the world did not prevent Barack Obama from winning the election. Well, what do you think about that? I'm sure you got an idea. I bet you got an More idea. Americans, Ele yes. Electronic <laughs> voting machine. I'll tell you what it is. More Americans voted for him than McCain. That's what it was. People yeah. wanted to change. Allegedly. I wanted Obama to win. I wanted you the vote? younger guy. No, of course not. I just sit here and talk. I wanted but all the of a sudden, there's a Republican, there's a Republican governor in, in, in what's been a Democratic That's state right. forever. It will Jersey. happen. It will yeah. happen. Yes. Hold on, hold White on. people got fed up. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. 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 Fellas, Jesus Christ. You want to look back through history? Whenever a new administration comes in, a whole bunch of states flip over. It happens all the time. I, yeah, yeah. And, and, I'm and, not complaining and, about that. And the right wing talkers are all railing about that when they were looking for the Hoffman dude to win in New York 23, and all of a sudden that doesn't mean anything. Where the Democrat, they haven't that had a Democrat. Was such a so there you go. There oh, you go. Come on. The, it's and the, the Democrats thing. or liberals would have been all over that if it was the other way around. That fucking well, Republican exactly candidate what's going on. was a Democrat. She was a fucking Democrat. Well, she was a and Republican. And she got thrown out there. Yeah. There's was some Republican. Went along with everything Barack said. Well, listen. And, and there, there are liberal Republicans, believe it or not, and, and right and far right. Liberal Republicans. Yeah, she wasn't a moderate. She was well, a Well, how'd she fucking, get to be a Republican all that who time? Who the fuck knows? It's we up don't there in there. goddamn cow country. Uh, <laughs> but, but when the conservatives stepped in... He right. had he had fucking uh, uh, the, his votes were diluted by this uh, woman. She wound up getting the woman like, bailed out. What you, yes, she bailed she out. Got, and the percentage of votes she got after she bailed but out, she bailed would out. Have put the conservative guy over the top. See, baby, you, you talk about arguing the same way. Brother Norton's going. Norton's going. Oh, when the liberals went out and protested the war, they just did it on their own grassroots, sarcastic. And now you're doing the same exact because it, it's the arrogance shit. of well, the, the left that I'm talking about. We've got the issue. Oh, bro. It's the arrogant thought policing of the left. I'm telling you. You're asking about liberals. I don't hate liberal ideology. If Something I don't agree with. If there was it's a the primary, arrogance. The I know Republican. what's better for you than you do. Uh, I understand the unwashed masses shit that liberals have become, which makes me sick to my stomach because they're doing the same thing they hated the conservatives for. Well, I dealt with them. I know it when we would do tough crowd. The things you could make fun of, the things you couldn't make fun of. If it was a, if it was a sacred cow of the right, it was okay. You want to shit on Catholicism? Good, and you should be able to. What, but fucking like Larry David, that fucking that little piss drop on the uh, on. On the, on the uh, thing right, of right, 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 right. I would love him to have done that with Muhammad. Never gonna happen. Fucking the phony New York Times wouldn't show but that. Why fucking... would he do it to Muhammad? It ain't a good bit. You know, but we, you everyone would be cheering. All the conservatives would be pumping their. You understand? It's not a I, good bit. Why isn't it a good bit? Well, 
look at Muhammad. Right? Why wouldn't the New York all, Times? First of all, I don't know what a picture of Muhammad looks like. Exactly. Come on, you know what it is. Why wouldn't the New York Times show that picture that the Danish cartoonist did? Why wouldn't they show that? But they still showed Piss Christ. They still. Why wouldn't the, any of the New York papers show that? The media completely left it alone. Why? They're afraid because they're afraid of Islam. They're afraid of the violence in Islam, and they won't say it. South Park. One of the only edits they ever did was when they wanted to portray Muhammad, and they said absolutely not. We want. They, they very rarely will see. No, want they you. didn't do it. And they they came out and they gave this statement because of recent world events. They won't even name Islam. So they're more, they they're more afraid of Islam than they are of, of right wing Christians. There you go. They're According afraid. Of by far, of course they are. Of course, I am. terrified. They shit, the way they shit all over Christianity. They're much more afraid of Islam. Yeah, I don't know. Much, more, much more afraid. Who, right wing Christians who is, though. Every newspaper that would never print that uh, Danish cartoon. But who is the who is the who's the holding the strings to, that good says question. that they're not allowed to do that? Good question. I don't it's, think the, the we, editor gives we, a fuck. Who's oh, the editor? We, does care wait, no, who's us. the higher higher that's saying that's I agree wrong? As a society, our whole as, fucking, as a group, our whole fucking uh, way of life is afraid of uh, offending Islam. Of a guy running in with a bomb. More so yes. Than, yes. More so than offending Christianity or any other religion. Christianity is, is safe to make fun of compared to the other, compa especially compared to the Islam. the retribution is fucking uh, tragic. Well, you guys are the fucking poster childs for you don't fuck with Christianity. Yeah, well, we didn't say That's it, not uh, true at all. We shit all over Islam. We shit all over Christianity. We shit all over... I, I, no, but I'm saying, no. You're not saying you... You're, you're, we didn't say it's absolute. I'm not saying you're, you're, hip, you're, you're hypocrites. I'm saying... That you lost your jobs because Christians oh, band together and got you fucking. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We lost our jobs because the company that sanctioned the contest fucking backed out. It was because what? Bill Donahue. Pressure from? Absolutely. I don't yeah. fault Bill Donahue. Bill Donahue. I don't fault yeah. Al Sharpton either. I don't fault Sharpton and Jesse Jackson for getting Imus fired. I fault fucking Les Moonves for buckling when he didn't have to. I fault the fucking companies for buckling because they think it's Selma in 1960 but who is and it's going to be a boycott that's, that's going to hurt. It's, it's ultimately. A, a, it's all. Oh, this is what I'm trying to get back to. Is human. All these labels. It's about humans being liars. It's about lying. If people didn't lie, then we wouldn't be pointing our fingers at this one or that one. The New York Times guy is going by the fact that we all are liars right now. Anthony, to me, look. Oh, and 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 fucking um. Colin. Yeah, Colin. <laughs> somebody, uh, Colin. Colin's back here yawning. He, uh, <laughs> poor Colin. <laughs> Me and Colin are playing hangman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony and Colin, Colin what, bro? Colin's thinking here. he left his Ben Gay at home. <laughs> He's getting tired. I'm saying at the end of the day, I was gonna give I'm giving Colin and you credit because at least we can have racial conversation. Everybody thinks just because you talk race that you're racist. I know. People could just be racial yeah. and, and get it out just to just so we're not as led around by these discussions about who's doing what and who's afraid why the fuck would that it, it's the it's the it's the uh the rush limbaugh thing he can't buy a fucking football team the motherfucker that owns the pittsburgh steelers never owned a slave nigga <laughs> <laughs> so rush limbaugh oh, is the racist but these old white dudes that own football teams aren't Fucking the, uh, the Dallas Cowboy motherfucker. He, you, yeah, that. that Texas oil baron. Yeah, <laughs> he loves black people. Like I'm just saying, Mark if, Shaw was able to own a fucking baseball. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's so one. that's what I don't want to. I don't want to be a fucking slave to the fact that you're going to tell me who the villains are and this and that. Yeah, let's true. have let's have real conversations. We're having one right now. Fucking uh, Rush Limbaugh. Like fuck Rush now. Limbaugh's the villain. I'm not defending him, but you're going to tell me these other... What, Rush Limbaugh's going to get in the, in the in the NFL and go, I'm going to try to win right, a, right. A, a, a game with all white players. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. He's as racist as anybody else who I can't prove it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's fuck out of here, it's man. It's true. White people are stereotyping black people and they're racist. Maybe you'd like to look on Maury right now. Let me just get no, one. Can I get my on there? The, the, the reason is people are afraid of Islam. I would be too. I'm not saying that they're dumb to be afraid of Islam. What bothers me <laughs> is the fucking <laughs> phony attacks on other religions, and they won't come out and say, we won't show that cartoon because we're afraid of a suicide bomber coming in, which is the reality. And I wouldn't fault them for that. I'm not saying I'm ballsy, but there were people that quit. I think it was the New York Press and the Village Voice because they wouldn't show that Cartoon. The Village Voice. It was one of the, well, it was the voice people. The reporters were quitting because the paper fucking copped out. They would not address Islam honestly, and they won't just say we're afraid of them because they react really violently. 
They attack right well, Christianity say all the time, and they should. But let me just say one last thing about this liberal conservative shit. And I know I ain't sinking crap in with you dudes. Here's the deal, bro. You know, since Barack Obama has been the president, and before in history, there are radio stations. I'll just use Rush Limbaugh's for instance. Rush Limbaugh has a show. He did it with Bill Clinton. That's how he became famous, Rush mm -hmm. Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh has three hours a day, every single day, and his whole mission is to bring down Barack Obama. That's what the show is, 100%. I get his emails every day, Jim. I'll get his emails every single day. I'll show them to you. I thought and they had a fairness you... doctrine thing. Like, no, that was, that, that was the fucking... liberals crying because people don't want liberal radio, so they were like, well, if they get it, we should have it. They don't want the fairness doctrine anywhere else. They want. They don't want it in sports. They don't want it anywhere else, but they want it with talk radio where people are expressing opinions because people didn't want to hire liberal talkers. So they're like, well, how can we get in there? Oh, let's make it a fucking uh, like the government mandated thing. It's yeah. bullshit. By the way, the fairness doctrine was in existence once. And then it was taken away. It they should used to have, when I was on the radio, yeah, if you had a dude on, uh, you had to have the other dude on. If you talked about one side, you had to talk about the other side, which, in all honesty, will make for a smarter populace. But in the meantime, you got a bunch of radio shows that dedicate their shows to bringing down your president. That never, ever happened in the day, but ever. They're, they're all getting, the thing is this, you know the fairness doctrine. Come on. Forget they're, the they're fairness all, doctrine. Saying, like that, it's all about I'm not saying rating. that. Rush not probably wanted, talking about, Rush probably though. wanted Obama. And this is how dumb sure the Democrats are. I hear you. This is how dumb they are. You. Obama addressed Hannity, and, and, he, and he addressed he addressed fucking Rush by name, like they're Republican mm. Party. They're just talkers. He fucking he was harsher with Rush Limbaugh than he was with Ahmadinejad or, or fucking anything that's going on in the Middle East. He had that's harder because, words for Rush Limbaugh. That, that, that's, that's because some people believe that diplomacy might be a good thing. I know you guys don't on the right. You'd rather bomb every Muslim. Not off true the at planet. all. Bullshit. All Not right. true at all. I'm all, all for right. diplomacy. Too much wrong with diplomacy. Nothing, but I'm saying uh, uh, Obama reached his hand out to a guy who said that he wants Israel wiped off the face of the map, and Israel, if we don't do something, is going to attack Iran. <clears throat> I, can I, I, I will say something about the Muslim community in this country. There's some silent motherfuckers. <laughs> See, yeah. here's the thing Jesus about Christ. other groups. It, black people will, every group has the other group in it that will say, we're right. not associated uh, with that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, I got it, here's, the, here's the thing, wait a minute. I got here's the thing, news. in England... It, it's harder to be that racist in England against against oh, Muslims. Uh, against Muslims because they yeah. live oh, yeah. with with the people with the with the community like fucking Puerto Ricans live with, with <laughs> people in New York. Yeah, not in my fucking here, <laughs> here, <laughs> here, fucking Muslims. If Muslims start running around bombing malls and doing all that goofy shit they do in England and Israel. Uh -huh. Bad things are going to happen to yeah. all Muslims. Yeah. So if they can differentiate between the ones that we go them, which is what niggas had to do and ages <laughs> had to do, where where if if black people start flying planes and shit, most likely it'll be those black people yeah, and yeah. not. Oh, uh, here we go with this shit here. But mum's the word. Because Islam is very peaceful. It's wait, wait. a very peaceful Patrice. fucking religion. Right, Patrice, let's... wait, wait. I just want to tell you something because this is what happens on the radio. Patrice just said you don't see the Muslim coming out speaking against, correct? And you just say that? Well, in, in oh, terms of saying, but on the streets too, Brother Weeze, on the streets, if you ask a Muslim, what do they think? They go, well, you know, Palestine. it's a thing that did we have to do what we, you know. That guy just never like, like fuck him. <laughs> never like fuck that dude for blowing up shit. Bro. Ever. Right, Listen, right, this is what I want to say. Just yesterday on MSNBC, they had a Muslim broad to some professor at some big school here in this country that was up screaming against the Muslims. And she's a deep Muslim studier and knows the religion and the whole deal. And she wants more people to come out. But she was up there for 15 minutes as a Muslim denouncing the Muslims, the violent Muslims, and the extremists, Muslim extremists, because a lot of people in this country, a lot, and I'm not going to say hillbilly, but look at the point, look at the point you're making, though, Muslims you just Muslims. made the point, you're just she making, wants more the, people to come the, out, the yeah, point but she is, is yeah. but he didn't think she exactly, look, no, 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 but, but yes. of course, but yes. it was the, on the like, exception to the rule show, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Where's, not, where's just some yeah. dude, if you talk to a cab driver, you know, you like to talk to people, people like to talk, and it's like, you talk to a cab driver, and you go, hey, man, What's going on over here? You'll go, all right. He'll, they'll never go. I'm, you, you talk to twenty Muslims or twenty dudes you think are Muslims and ask about this situation and see if they go. This, this it's all fucked up. 
It's mm -hmm. all fucked up. The Israel fucking Palestine shit's all goofy. The fucking Indian India versus uh, Pakistan is goofy. You you won't hear those people say that that shit's goofy. They won't do it. They, they so that's why they put themselves in a spot to go all of you. If Asian Asians went, this is the problem with Muslims. They haven't went through this shit yet. This is their time to go through the shit like <laughs> Asians did. Asians have earned their place to go suck my balls because they've been put in fucking concentration camps during World War II. They scooped them up, threw them into some fucking camp because they're fucking Chinese. Yeah, that was some they bad went, shit. They that went some wrong through stuff. it. The Muslims haven't gone through <laughs> the shit that makes the ones go, hey, I live here and I love it. Them motherfuckers that do dumb shit, fuck them, so that we won't look at them all the same. Because if Asian people blew up a mall, you would not look at all Asians like they blow malls up yeah. because they earn their spot. Muslims haven't earned their fucking Asians Jew also yet. never attacked us from within as civilians. Asians also, no other group, it's the first time we're dealing with this, whereas, and this is why the internment camps were so wrong in World War II, it is because the uh, Islam has purposefully used the way we live and attacked us as civilians. So it's not like they came in here as a paramilitary group, they were just civilians. So they trained us to look at all civilians suspiciously, and then we look at civilians suspiciously and we're accused of being racist. There's no way to win that. Which so is you're what, either sitting ducks or you're smart and you're profiled. Which is what those shitty movies that have a guy give a speech in him. Like, yeah. you Americans are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because they know the deal. Citizen. <laughs> you, and you know, it's this goofy shit. You that, have that, to arrest me. Muslims have to go through that shit. <laughs> they have to make get, me they, laugh. They have you to have turn on this pressure. They have to deal with the pressure. I want we, yes. I just want to tell you this. Uh, you, the right wing always brings up the fact that Fox is the man and they got the ratings. and Like, somehow that makes it the truth. But just let me remind you, Never the Transformers that. was the number one movie. But I'm not saying that. that <laughs> Yeah. Shit, it's important. Um, but the Transformers is a day in, day out event. Ra you know, ratings run run the world when it comes to stations and making money. And I'm saying that for some reason, those guys get numbers. I mean, they uh, kill. I'm not. T. Goldberg's on the air because he gets ratings. I mean, he doesn't do as well as Hannity, no. but he gets fucking ratings. I gotta say something Go here about that. What you just said. Go I'm ahead. not saying it makes it the truth. I'm not saying right. it makes it. Well, that's good. what I feel like I you're say, saying. No, no, no. They have the ratings, but what it does is it gives the left. An excuse to say things like, oh, the people that showed up weren't angry about taxes. They were racist, baited by the uh, Wait station. A Wait, Wait, no, 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 no. They were no, no, baited no. by the stations that have a <laughs> huge viewership and huge listenership. Instead of just going, you know something? I'm tired of paying taxes, and there is a demonstration about it, and I feel passionate enough to go and represent uh, uh, this, well, this well, cause. But, but it's suspect, my brother, because the motherfuckers, did, did you, if you actually believe uh -huh. in your goddamn heart that why these people weren't there during the Bush regime, but they showed up after Glenn Beck and Fox well, News. And a, but, but bro, the, forget, but what, God damn it, the evidence, when did, you, when did their tax change? Nothing fucking Already. changed. Both. Let me tell you You're something. telling me you're lived up, your life has changed. I'm telling babies. you, my fucking, my taxes have gone up already. Well, I, 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 I must you, not have noticed. They Is have Hannity's fucking ratings where, where better since yeah, Combs left? Uh, uh, yeah, Hannity's fucking, him and O'Reilly destroy everybody. You know what it is? And, and this is something that, uh, maybe not directly because of Obama, but Obama's saying people that make more than 250000 yeah, a year. Yeah, but it didn't happen wait, yet. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, not, not, not there yet. yet. Hold it. Not there yet. But when you get Obama, the president, the one that's changing things, right. everyone's looking up to, saying, we want to tax people that make $250,000 right, a year or right, more. Right, 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 right. Then lower government, use his example, like they did in my fucking county, and tax the shit out of me. Oh, so you now got tax in your county, So now their, their whole thing is, with by Democrats that are running the fucking county, oh, although Swazi, oops, he might be out now. He was tiptoeing his way, going, la di dee I think I'm winning, and I'll recount by, what's like by the, the By the way, Anthony, all of this is, the, the bigger thing but is... It was a catchphrase but, of but, everyone going, 250,000 or more. Directing, now it's... Now it's everyone's hands on You're, directing, text, you're directing, text, directing your anger at the wrong thing, because at bullshit. the end of... Wait a minute. At the end of the day... <laughs> We're all, no matter how much money we got, we're all paying back a loan that the government takes out from a fucking bank. This is it's not about pe this is look, about people. It's not about no, no, fucking I, your county. I want to simplify it. They need your money to pay back fucking Anthony's, Chinese people. I want to simplify Anthony's it. Anthony's pissed because they just taxed him on his new Messerschmitt. I want to keep it simple. I make X amount of money. Right. I want to keep 
X amount of that money, and it's getting less and less and less. It's not because... your money. Fuck you. It don't belong I'm to you. I'm sitting my ass in this I chair know, every fuck, fucking day. I know. And fuck I pay you. my fucking bid I, on taxes. I know. And I always have. And and the motherfuckers, it's never enough. I know it's fuck never you. Never enough. But how it's not ever wanna, enough. How much, please? How much do you want to pay in tax? Well, how you much see, do you want to? How, how much you is reach, enough? Where will you reach a point where you go? Listen. Fuck these guys. Here's the unfortunate truth. Never. Because I think oh. you're full of shit. Why? I think you're a Republican, mm -hmm. elitist, rich guy. Let me let me give oh you a minute. God. Wait, let me okay. tell you. All right, all right. All right. Guess, I, I want to retort. I'm sure this is your joint. I have friends where I live really <laughs> rich, right? This is my life experience. I have some really fucking rich friends, obviously all Republicans, and they're bitching and they're moaning about all this crap, which hasn't even touched them. These people got all the crap that Colin was just making jokes on you. I'm not bullshitting you. Planes. These motherfuckers that are worried about people getting health care or any kind of handout, they're going to have one less Ferrari. I ain't bullshitting you. You don't think so wait a minute. No, uh, they've already given their Ferrari. Now they want they both of their fucking any. Ferrari. <laughs> now they they're, don't. they're the ones taxed up the ass. Okay, here's bottom line. Let me just finish. I think unemployment is the bottom Bottom line, bottom line that We're I know for sure. Bottom line that I know for sure. All my rich friends are going to stay rich and die rich, but not as rich maybe. Come on, man. We just passed through life. I believe. Look, Hillary, I, I, I believe it takes a. I believe it takes a village, and I'm not bullshitting you. I saw that Oprah show where it went around the world. I'm sure you guys don't look at that. You think you'll vote, grow a vagina or something? But I watched that Oprah show because I like it. And she had these people from all over the world, and I forgot which country, Norway or some. Fifty percent. These people were paying. 50% and they got everything. They had everything. This health care thing. That's because they're all can white. You, can you, that's, <laughs> right, that's why. Can you imagine, though, honestly, if we had health care, and don't start with no. the anecdotes about no, Canada. No, 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 if not, you no. had that health care and you didn't have to take it out of your money from work, or mm -hmm. if some guy with a business didn't have to pay half of every cat that worked there, and you didn't have to worry about getting sick. I mean, this is all a good life. It's good. Sounds good. It as, is as, good. As, as more hands go into my pocket. Big right. fuck your I'm pocket. You know what? <laughs> Someone's got to have a pocket. One day they're going to go into your fucking bank account and <laughs> take country. what they need. When did America, as opposed to when, fucking this pretend When did America shit? become a place okay. that guarantees it's people... Life, liberty, no, and pursuit of happiness. Yes, pursuit. Pursuit. Chase that motherfucker. Well, let and me if ask you catch it... Best of luck okay, to you. Let me ask you this one question. Why is this country, the one that brags about being the best country in the world, the only industrialized country that doesn't take care of their people? Free but enterprise, what? competition, and incentives. So we got people Are you dying? serious? Wait, wait, wait listen. But, we, but he's to about... see, we just talking humanity. Yeah. Anthony, that I pay. You're making it sound like I'm sitting there with gold to blue. You, <laughs> you want to? I pay up the <laughs> And shit listen, home. Monopoly man. But the you <laughs> ass, and they want more. But we only listen do have help. Healthcare. We have the best health care in the world. We have the, well, that's why we're ranked. We that's why we're ranked in the 30s. What the fuck are you talking uh, about? Yeah, when everybody Jimmy. needs a surgery for something, they go to fucking uh, Guam. But, okay. uh, uh, well, uh, actually, Guam is uh, They go uh, to fucking uh, Africa. Evidence? <laughs> evidence? Can we do evidence? Right now, there's something, and it was in the Parade magazine, of all things. They have insert in the Sunday paper. That thing's too so pro probably, right. <laughs> the problem with, They have things called surgical vacations. But, you know, that's, that's what... I, I don't want to call oh, you guys people bad. are going to Mexico and getting surgery. People are going to a lot of places yeah, yeah, and getting yeah. surgery. Yeah, and, but uh, Brazil is my favorite God place where people go. Happens. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but this is what That's kills certain me. certain types of surgery, though, down there. Well, yeah. they, they get a vagina. But listen, <laughs> no, people are traveling to many places to get to get operations. But here's what kills me. You motherfuckers going, we got the best health care. <laughs> we don't have the best health care. We might have the best doctors and Thank technology. You. Yes, yes, health care. Yes. The word care no. means no. someone's oh, getting taken right. care of. No, Come you know on, what? where Come else on. in the world? And don't we have one of these little shit countries that have no people like Sweden? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a problem. Forty people in the whole fucking country. <laughs> forty people. <laughs> one thing I like about Weez is he argues about like this. He's like talking political intellectual. He's like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 well, listen to me. Because he doesn't get the what curse of this. Right. What other country can you walk into the emergency room and get everything taken care Tons of? Tons of them. No. So, yes. Except for little. Don't mention. What? Sweden. Canada's that little? Canada's wise are pretty every, big. Even the most liberal. <laughs> 
The most well, liberal know. Canadians I know say you're making a mistake in your life. All the you're so, fuck you, Colin. That is and it's, it's bullshit. Total bullshit. That's bullshit. What? It is bullshit. We all know it's bullshit. How much bullshit, bullshit. Colin? You're no, bullshit. God, like Jimmy's being <laughs> sarcastic. Yeah, Colin, what's going on? You waited all this time to just say some fucking dumb shit. Colin. Exactly. Why don't you shut yeah. the fuck up, man? The dollar is falling. <laughs> shut up. I swear to God, is that anecdotal? Is it true? It's, it's true. Anecdotal. It's not true facts. How, let's make some phone calls. And I do it all. Let's call let's Canada. Let's make calls right now. Let's call Canada. Let's call Canada. And get a guy on the phone random. And what hey. happens if he says to you, by the way, I got a comic who was just on my show, um, American kid that married a Canadian broad. They're up in Edmonton. Fantastic. You know, anecdotal. You know, they had a baby. She had a kid. It didn't, it, no. it, it didn't cost so, them a guy. What are so you talking about? When I said anecdotal, it was uh, bullshit. I'm responding to yours. Oh, but I'm saying you're anecdotal. Because comes... you just said everybody in Canada says it sucks. Everybody well, that called me never. You said everybody in Canada. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, uh, I broadcast from across the water from Canada. I actually have Canadian listeners. Yeah. These people call up all the time saying, I cannot believe what you people in your country are doing. And people don't want health care. I'm at the if anecdotal. You, can, you know something? If it, can be, if it could be done... Without more fucking mitts in my wallet, what? What if it could be done? God bless, because I, I have, I'm, I'm done fucking paying for everybody. Wait, what if it could be done with putting mitts in your pocket? No. So you, you must no. not like Jesus. No, it's I love nothing my to Jesus. do with religion. Nothing to do with Jesus religion. Jesus wants people to have care. Here's what it is: America, uh, a place uh, on this uh, great uh, globe of ours that that you come to yeah. or are born in, yeah. and you have the opportunity. To uh, through luck, through wealth, through, uh, through skill. <laughs> At least he came through, up with no, luck. no, it's true. It's, but it's true. There's every a little bit of everything involved. That's what makes this a great country. And there's no difference get, between that and, and about as, fifty on, other countries, by the way. To get ahead, as Patrice. high up as you want. There is no obligation to the person that succeeded to take care of or bring up anyone beneath So let me them. ask you this. It's, is it righteous? Is it nice? Of course it fucking is. Is it mandatory? No. Not here. But wait a minute. No. But let's say you were a guy in Toronto. I don't know if you've ever been there. Yeah. One of the Lovely great cities city. in the world. Great big city. And you have all those exact opportunities that you just mentioned. Plus, they take care of everybody. A little better. Same exact opportunity, every opportunity that you just mentioned, take you can have in Toronto. Take care and of the mismanagement care. for the money. I mean, what if, what if, me. what if everybody, me. what if everybody, and Canadian yeah. pussy smells terrible, to be very I, honest I with you. I've had a few, they're fucking horrendous. Towards well, why whatever, like 50% <laughs> or whatever the percentage they have, <laughs> they pay towards health care. Because look it, I'm, I'm, I'm both sides. I think our health care system, it's not bad, Oy. it's just... It's Terrible. just shit. It's just eighty five percent of people are insured. Wait a minute, no, on a on a human level, percent not bad. Yeah, That's a 15, lot of money. Eighty five percent of the people in this country are insured. Yes. yes. Why are we fucking complaining? Exactly. Fifteen percent is not insured. Fifteen percent. Wait, 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 w
<laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. And neither does you go out and crash your car 50 times. Your premiums are going to be a little high. Um, your what car the insurance. What does one? Wait, well, that's a I'll stupid. Say, no, thank you. Insurance. I couldn't get out of my throat what fast enough. What kind insurance? of comparison was that? I'm, I'm, I'm doing a cold-blooded study on insurance, which is <laughs> the higher the risk, the more you're going to pay. But, it's but, risk but, but that's not a nice it's country. Terrible. That's true. No, no, that's it's not terrible. a nice country. It's true. It's not a nice country. I want to take care of my brothers and sisters. Well, you're Fuck a good me. man. You're a good man. And Big you know something? Ninety percent tax your ass, and thirty percent tax mine. Because I'm an asshole. And maybe in the next world. You'll get a better place than I will. I don't even believe there is a next world. Are you an atheist, Anthony? I am. Nah, I know that there's probably something, but I don't fucking understand. Anthony, that's agnostic. Yeah, agnostic. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just like, and, uh, he don't believe in nothing. He's a Pascalian. By the way, he's, no, he by the way, in nothing. No, bro, I just told you, you didn't hear my story. I'm a Jehovah's Witness now. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> is that it? Legit. Really? Am, yeah. No Christmas? No, medica no, Christmas. no medication. They should say there's only 100,000 people going to make it to the to the, to heaven, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm number 100,000. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right into the wire. I got in late. And they don't vote. I ain't voting no more. Yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses don't vote. Wait, you don't vote anymore? I'm a witness. Yeah, Jehovah's <laughs> Witnesses <laughs> don't vote. They, they, didn't know, me, they didn't tell me that yet. This no. ain't real. Bro, this is real. I'll show you the letter. Bro, listen to this. Wait, real quick. Witnesses came to my door, so I answered the door because I'm... I'm like really don't like organized religion. I don't want to piss anybody off here. I like the Bill Mark take. I'm sure someone hates him in here somewhere. So anyway, I, that's the way I am. So they come up to my door, and I answered the door right up to my door, and I go, you guys, I'm the Antichrist. You came to the wrong <laughs> joint. And you know they sold me. Yes, I'm not kidding you. I dug their rep. So I started Wait, what do they say that sold well, you? Well, one of the things they say is they don't Wait, go to war. You talk about Fox leading people, and you fell for the <laughs> <Jehovah's> Witnesses <laughs> rep? <laughs> that was good. Put a box that of watchtowers. That, 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 yeah, that was gonna hurt. That's good though, bro. Please, that was gonna hurt you a little bit. No, I love <laughs> that. That's, gonna hurt you. I mean, that's a beautiful <laughs> piece. That, that you don't believe in war, and you were over there three fucking tours, right? right? Well, wait a minute. I know. It's not. That's why. My tours in Vietnam are why I don't even want to get into that. Well, look, I got you were such talking about tanks. Afghanistan last night. You right. don't want any more of the boys no. going over there. No, I don't want any. And wants a lot of the guys to go over there. No, I didn't say that. Oh, Holy yeah. fuck! I did not. Say you want to send? Well, you want to no. send our soldiers right, to die? You want to send sixteen years? Right, hold on, hold on. I miss. All right, fuck he, you, man. No, you want to send high school kids over there now? That's that right. Thing? I said as far as <laughs> soldiers go, and as far as commanders go. I can't wait. No, no. Go back to Iraq. I said. When you listen to them, when they are given an order by their president, and uh, you, you, you send them and give them every resource they need to finish the job, or you get them the fuck home okay, hold on. and, and, and get, get them out. I heard a dude call the political talk show the other day, and I, my blood boils, and they talk about Vietnam. And they go, the same rap you just did? That's the bullshit they keep talking now. You give them all the stuff so we can finish it. Here's a bulletin for the dumb motherfuckers. There is no finishing I it. I understand that. Alexander the Great till today, yeah. you can't beat that Afghani motherfucker. But don't leave, don't leave it half-assed sitting what are you in the middle of the but you're, Then but take them out. Then get them home. It was half-assed. Half it was half-assed. Then, we got then assess the situation and go, we can't win this, get right. everybody the And don't help them the next time somebody invades, right. dumb assholes we are. We should have let the Russians do what they wanted. But why do we never look, like, if this, sh what are we over there doing? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. What's like, we this weird? Mind your business. Keeping, like, business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Keeping the world safe for democracy. Uh, I don't right. get it, man. There's uh, no oh. fuck. Oh. This, but, but I heard this dude call up this political talk show about Vietnam. Right. Because a lot of guys say that. If we had what we needed, and I went three times, if we had what we needed and finish it, what? I wanted to pose the question, what was finished? They want to blow up the whole joint? That's what they're talking about. When they say finish any it's of these wars, they mean blow up the whole fuck, kill every motherfucker. Well, here's what That's they mean. Ridiculous. They mean you place can't. their what? guy there yeah. so they can have all the fucking yeah. resources. There you go. There's which no is resources in that no, fucked up I'm country. There's what? some, there's some funky. Diamond fucking over there that right, God put right. there. Fucky diamond. Yeah. Where is this fucking heroin? <laughs> God put Diamond. a lot of shit over there. Hey, Opi opium, exactly. Let, right. the, okay, let the conspiracy go. That's right. How about the fact? Let it fly now. The that's why they the fucking selling heroin, everybody. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's, that's why they hate fucking Chavez, man. Because he's a, he's a dictator Chavez. that says, fuck you. Yeah. They need people to, so they can go in there like and keep the shit. I like to see his fucking green card. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Patrice, yes. he's a benevolent dictator. See, that's another word. To he loves his people. He takes care of he the people. He loves his people. And the, and that's the why they fucking hate him. And the cold people in Brooklyn, right? 
Does he need body oil for people? He fucking, here he's, he, he loves his people because he, he loves his, his people. And that's what they hate dictators who fucking are really for the people. That's why they hate Castro. Yeah, they love that Hitler. They hate. loved Hitler. Oh, did they love Hitler. He's not for the people. Shut up, he sure was. Yeah, he sure was. as hell Did was. Did you see all the people come out at the rallies? Mo, Certain people he wasn't for, but he was for yeah, a while. Well, you know, you got to gang, in order you know, to unite you, you got to gang him up against someone else. You just else. hit me with a big ball of literal. <laughs> 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 you use him. Hitler. Hitler was not they a man him. of the people. He just oh was charismatic, but I'm just saying. You just use Hitler for eight minutes ago for your argument. I think, I'm going to tell you something. I think every ideology has... A benevolent point to it. I think communism has a has a of great it point to it. It's uh, the people it running it that fucks it up. By the way, I got good news yeah. for everybody here. I don't know if you guys saw this. A couple weeks ago, I went to the movie theater, saw Brad Pitt and them cats kill the Hitler. I was proud as a mother. Oh, my God. They yeah, killed yeah. Hitler. He died. I didn't know he went down yeah, until I went yeah, to that they, flick. They got him. Yeah. Inglorious <laughs> Bastards. That would, Norton, you didn't see that? I did not. No, I heard, I heard. I liked, I liked Tarantino a lot. I heard mixed reviews about oh, it. Oh, I liked it a lot. We, I think uh, you dig it. Are we ready for final statements here? Final statements. All right. I, uh, Who wants to start? Not all I, white people I, are bad. I, I, respect, <laughs> I respect and appreciate Weez's point of view. Oh, yeah, I don't uh, think you do. No matter how stupid it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I will come back with the fact that uh, one of the luckiest men on the planet, Anthony, sitting over there, fucking stepped in a pile of shit in his own piece. Thank you. You I'm fucking, glad you call him a you piece of fucking shit. asshole. <laughs> this is what kills me. His last callus on his fingers healed yesterday. <laughs> Just to fucking fix refrigerators, <laughs> and this cocksucker is is Lord Barrington the Third. Like you're an asshole. I got mine, motherfucker. I got mine. Wait, and even worse than that, I heard rumors that this lucky motherfucker goes to casinos. Take like this. He doesn't want to pay for the poor people's health care, but he'll give Atlantic City fifty, a hundred thousand dollars because he's an idiot. They employ a shitload of people. <laughs> yeah, but Trump got the money. My, Not those people. My, well, you know something? Trump employs some people, too. Right. But let's tax the shit out of the people that employ people and keep unemployment at 10% or higher. Wait, you had your final statement. Yeah, yeah, you really true. did. Sorry. You really <laughs> had your final statement. My final statement is that oh, Anthony, Colin, yes. Yes, whose sir, dream Colin. five years ago was to someday work the walk-in freezers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now he's got a fucking panzer tank in the back. Fucking Colin. Yeah. Colin's going to be at Caroline's what? Tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday, right, Colin? Yeah. Caroline's from Colin oh, Gordon. Where's God. Norton going to be? Well, um, wait, he's got his final statement. Right. Right. We're doing oh, final yeah. statements. Uh, yeah. uh, well, yeah, that's a good question, though. November 25th, I'll be at the stress factory the night before <laughs> Thanksgiving. Very good. Very good. Excellent, Excellent question. We use the post. Thank you. <laughs> uh, here's where the liberals lose me. Mind. Oh, we got it. <laughs> liberals don't lose me on the ideology. Oh, well, they don't lose don't, you. You don't lose me on your on your beliefs, some I'm with, some I'm not. I'm for gay marriage. For most of them, I'm pretty socially liberal. Gay marriage? <laughs> I know. Well, you know yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, the liberals lose me on the language policing they do and the fucking arrogance. They think everybody else is a lead sheep, and they are these 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 brilliant intellectual thinkers who see it for what it really is. Uh, and that arrogance, they are exactly what they what they hated in the '60s uh, and before. So that's my problem with the liberals. Uh, November 24th. Can I respond? Because I was sure, going, go ahead. But this is, what, this is what freaks me out, my brother, Norm. First of all, I think you're the smartest guy in the room. Not that anybody gives a shit. Thank you. I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Care. Not that anybody cares. But this He's going to be killed. dead in 2012 like everybody else. <laughs> so fuck, hey, fuck the Mayan. smartest guy in the fucking room. Like He's going to be laying right under the rape picture of the Statue of Liberty like everybody else <laughs> with a dress up. But the deal fuck is... With people, you see, the liberalism that's in my heart is, forget the snottiness. I know that, uh, I mean, if you don't think that down there where they fly the Confederate flag, if you don't think there's a whole bunch, if you go to the dumb places where you where comedians make fun of, just played Alabama, they didn't get the joke, that crap. If you go down there, I'd say that uh, you're going to be pissed at me, but I'd say that most of them were conservative uh, followers. A lot of I don't think the, you're going to uh, find many liberals in these places, and I wouldn't be that proud of that. But the thing is, when Rush Limbaugh tells his listeners all the time, think for yourselves, you know, he's always going, they think that you're too dumb. Well, you know what I really believe? I really do believe people are too dumb. And I know that you know it, too. Look I, don't, at this I actually don't know that. I really oh, don't. Are man. you shitting Please, me? I really don't, because as uh -oh, a guy who watches smart, Fox... Though. 
who doesn't. Forget uh, I'm not even or, or talking any about that. Stuff that I would be considered a follower for. I even, know I form my own opinions. I'm not so referring to any of that. Yeah. I don't buy the uh, the whole. There are some dummies, sure, but there's also dummies in college campuses all over this sure. fucking country listening to but their they're professors. Smarter. They're smarter, though, bro. But they got to be a little smarter. Not by much. The same ones that wouldn't protest Ahmadinejad, who did protest when the Minutemen went to speak. They started a riot when the Minutemen went to speak at Columbia University, and Ahmadinejad was walking with open arms and told the fucking uh, uh, the uh, the. Whatever the fuck the head of Columbia was really devastated and humiliated him, which I respect. Yeah, but there's something about the students. They're fucking sheep. But it, but it freaks me out the conservatives that I meet that go, the only reason I'm conservative is that tax thing. Wait, what a smoke screen. I believe that if you're liberally, if you're, if you're, if you're socially liberal, that you should be a goddamn liberal. Because that's what they're fighting the war about. I'm fighting for the fags to get married. Sorry about that word. <laughs> I'm fighting for gay marriage. And it was the liberals once again that made black people couldn't even marry white broads legally uh. until the, that's the truth. Yeah, thank you for it, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they still don't marry you. <laughs> but but anyway, just leave with a couple of Baracks and then exactly. move on. And, 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 and Jim, they, they just ruin their relationships with their dads. Jim, yeah. do, yeah. Not, do not a couple of Lenny Kravitzes and they bust on. <laughs> do not the conservatives <laughs> use the gay marriage and abortion as their biggest issue when that was elections come up? Yeah, that's that what they true. use. So <laughs> you're probably on the right listen. side of that issue, yet you'll stick we, with them. We got them in the middle. What's the website to listen to you? Nah, I'm not going to tell. Com. Yeah, I'm not telling. Weez.com, right? I don't want to tell people that. Weez.com. Weez at CanadianHealthcare.com. We got replays. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Weez at CanadianHealthcare.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's Weez.com if you want to listen to this show online. Patrice is going to Where the way. fuck is he going? Call of Duty. By the way, my <laughs> show's not political at all. None. I got shit to do. Where's he going? Where are you going? So you gotta got to shoot somebody? Shit. Huh? Yeah. Shoot somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Account said, your money? You know, he, he, just, he said the truth the first time he said so he, he just doesn't want the uncomfortableness when the mics are off. No, no, <laughs> the no, awkward no, well, He's yeah. going to play Call of Duty. You're right. All right, listen. Uh, Patrice is going to be at Bananas Hasbrook Heights, right? Yes. Tonight and tomorrow? Yes. Everyone got their final statements in? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, let's get out of here. Then. Oh, business. Well, there yeah. was one thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>